Thank you. Key lime. Key lime is bad. Cherry. Key lime cherry is would good. be. Cherry would key be my main is... pick. But I'm just as of this moment, the key lime pick. sounds really good. What? No, 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 no. My main. My main. My main. Uh... Dark cho dark chocolate raspberry cream pie. Whoa, uh, excuse me? Okay, if you ooh, cream ooh. it up, then that's... Whoa, Sarah, good. come on now. Okay, mm -hmm. cream up. No. Get creamy. Uh, yeah, uh, no. Uh, there's, uh, th there's, uh, let your cream be dreams. There's a recipe I used to work with where we would use a, uh, where we would use a chocolate pie crust, then we would go ahead and create a raspberry whip, and then go ahead and, and while it's baking, incorporate dark chocolate into it. Oh, God, that sounds amazing. It was like a solid, because, you know, you chill it, so it would be like a solid slice of raspberry that, dark that, chocolate cream, that, but like... Oh, it sounds oh. so good, Rabbit. My, oh, yeah, my trust me. Friend, my sister's friend used to, when Thanksgiving used to be a thing we could actually go to, Mm -hmm. um, she made this for me specifically because she knew how much I loved it. She would bring this like chocolate peanut butter pie. It was just mm. like a solid hunk of like chocolate mousse and peanut butter. And it's just, oh. she, my sister was always saying, and she's bringing it for you. And I was like, yes. Oh my one God. Of, one of my like childhood <sighs> memories revolved around a pie. And it was like, when, when I was a kid, I used to love uh, Baker Square's Oreo pie. And I'd like want it for like, you know, my birthday every year and stuff. Uh, one year though, I, I got it, and it was too sweet for me, and I realized, oh shit, I'm getting older. Like this no, song. fuck, I you grew up! Now. Chat, 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 chat. What is your favorite pie? Yep. Yes. You That's can all what tell us... all, of, all of this is happening right now, you so by all means... You can all tell us what your, favorite, what your favorite pie is while we do introductions. Uh, all right. Caitlin, where can they find you? What are you up to, and what's your favorite pie? <laughs> Uh, hi, hey, hello. My name is Caitlin Elizabeth. You can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog here on Twitch. It is twitch.tv slash Boobs McBalrog with zeros instead of O's. Um, I do have some fun streamed planned for on there, um, but if I do stream anything in the next couple weeks, it's probably going to be Final Fantasy XIV <laughs> um, <laughs> because I didn't realize that I was level grinding to 15 so that I could do like dungeon runs with some friends and uh, realized that I basically disappeared into the bushes and didn't do any of the quests that I needed to do to be able to do the dungeons. So I basically popped out of the bushes, um, totally unaware of anything that was going on in the world, but very buff. Um, so now I have to do all the main quests and that's probably what I'll be doing. God um, damn. Uh, yeah, I literally just yeah. disappeared. Oh, I'm, yep, I'm in a uh, thunderstorm. I so thought someone was blowing on their mic. It, it's, nope. it's, right. it's, it's, it's it like it sounded like cliche thunder, like somebody rattling a sheet yeah, pan. I thought it was yeah, so it, it's, it's, beca it's because I live in a super old apartment. I live in the stock sound. You oh, so like, you live in the stock again. folder on Adobe Premiere. Oh yes. shit! It's so, that, was so, <laughs> that was so cool. I've never heard thunder actually sound like that. Yeah, no, it sounds super ominous. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, no, my phone just pinged me. Uh, I'm in a storm supercell. That's not good. What? Uh, nice. yeah. Well, hope, hope it what? This way. if you need to go take shelter, let us know and we'll pause the episode. No, we don't need to take shelter. I swear to God, Rabbit, if you are stuck in a tornado and you're still going. Mm hmm. <laughs> No. <laughs> Caitlin, well, do you I'm know? just gonna do, go do down you, there and like Caitlin, do you, Connor can tell you about my mythic work ethic. <laughs> hey, I well, you know, I appreciate it. I, I get it, but uh if I mean, if yeah, for whatever true, reason your I mean, power goes out, then we'll, fair, Caitlin, we'll... I'll, the... I'll text I'll text you if my power goes out with gotcha. the word uh oh. Yeah. It'll, probably, it'll probably be quite <laughs> evident. I was gonna say I was gonna agree with you, Caitlin, but then I remember I'm the one who's like, even if I have a convention or I'm in England, I'm like, no, I'm still coming to, I'm still coming to play. Oh I'll yeah, yeah. Work. No, no, I, yep. Mm-hmm. I've, I, yep. Uh mm -hmm. oh, right. Sorry, introduction. Um. Yeah. I think <laughs> streaming is like the main thing. Oh, uh, mm, uh, keep an eye out on my social media Monday for something cool that will be happening very soon. Sounds cool. I, mm, oh, 
Uh, yeah. And um, my favorite pie in this present moment is key lime. Mm. But normally I'm a peanut butter and chocolate kind of lady. Nice. All right. Rabbit, uh, where can we find you? What are you up to? And what is your favorite pie? Oh, hi. How you doing? My name's Rabbit. Uh, I'm a comedian and I'm also a writer. Uh, you can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Hey Mr. Rabbit. So on Twitch, uh, Mr. Rabbit, I stream all kinds of games. I'm a variety streamer, but uh, my one big love this year that's really been helping me with the year is uh, RuneScape. I play old school RuneScape on a group Iron Man with a lot of my friends, and I play uh, Iron Man in RuneScape, RuneScape, which is RuneScape 3. It's hard to explain, but it's very fun. Uh, both games are very, very fun, and they're just a great source of comfort. And we basically just kind of... In RuneScape, we're doing a lot of grinding and quests and whatnot, but they're very chill, you know, it being a point-click RPG. So we've kind of just turned it into like a open-door bar where people can just walk in, and I just kind of interview them like an episode of the Midnight Gospel. It's just great. I'm just like, oh, hi, how are you? Can I, God, I love I can I, can, show. Can I, can, can I use you for my Twitch podcast? <laughs> <laughs> um, so... My favorite pie is uh, the dark raspberry chocolate pie, uh, chocolate cream pie uh, that um, I was uh, that I was privy to. I uh, I did a chocolatier back in the day, and uh, she taught me how to make that, so it was really good. Um, and let's see what else. Oh yeah, <laughs> how can I forget the storm? I'm in a storm right now. So uh, if, uh, like I said, if I go out, um, <laughs> that'll be it. But anyway, uh, twitch.tv slash hey, Mr. Rabbit. Uh, always here. Always good. Um, do, do you want me to give him a story about my work ethic? Because I totally could. Like, uh, remember well, when I did those voice lines when my arm was broken? God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> ah, yes. Don't die. I if don't. Have, I don't die. I as just mortals, bend we don't have back. a choice. If we had the time, I would love to. But unfortunately, we got to keep moving. We do. Lenny we got to keep moving, and grooving. Lenny Bator, where can we find you? What are you up to? And what is your favorite pie? Find me all over the internet at Lanny Bator. Uh, Twitch.tv Lanny Bator is where I stream, which I will be doing now more often now that my air conditioner is back and working, which means that on Monday, if you're not all role played out over here on this channel, drop on by at five o'clock central time and you can witness the adventures of the Connolly family in the ties that bind as demons. Demons. Exist and we don't want them to. Darn it. Well, well what are you going to do about it? Wait, well, you sure? I guess I guess we'll find out. You know what? That's up to you whether you really want them to exist or not. It's really up mm -hmm. to you guys. <laughs> I'm the one that create. I'm the one that created them. So, you guys do with that what you will. Um, oh, yeah, I will. Tune in. Check that out. Also, going up. Uh, just started going up today on YouTube.com/slash Four Star Bento. Kaiser and I are going through all of the old DBZA episodes and delivering <laughs> uh, oh, shit. commentary <laughs> and cringing our asses off at all of our early work. So uh, <laughs> check those out and see how much we hated our past selves. It's, <laughs> it's a great uh, time. Uh, Had by a few. <laughs> ah, self-loathing. Yeah. Enjoy. Tune in. Have fun. Uh, but yeah, I'll be streaming more than now that my AC's back. Check stuff out. Thank you kindly. And God. my favorite pie, key lime. Delicious. Really good. Mm -hmm. All righty. Sarah, where can they find you? What are you up to? And what is your favorite pie? I'm on Twitter at Sarah with an A, Jan with an E, Willia. Um, um, what I should talk about? Me and Rabbit played last night again. That was fun. Hey. That was super, super fun. We played, uh, oh, the Nightmare something? Nightmare? Uh, Project Nightmares. Project Nightmares. That's what it was. Case 36, Henrietta Kedward. Oh. I'm very glad someone clipped the puzzle music thing. That made me very happy to see you again. Oh, oh, absolutely. <laughs> this is tense music. And, and actually. Um, <laughs> well, uh, I'm being informed I'm too quiet. Do I sound too quiet? I don't you don't know. No, you sound good. You sound groovy. I smooched it up a little. There, that's it. I can take it back though if you need to. Uh, 
don't know. It might be it might be Johnny one person complaining about the volume. Yeah, Phil. You're Quiet for me, person. but uh, I didn't anyway. know if I was alone uh, in that. Yeah, uh, I've already talked about this. Uh, Soul Hackers Two will be out this following week, and I play all the Jack Frost because anything Jack Frost related is mine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. The... Yeah. Not much else to talk about at the moment. I'll get back to you. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Hee <laughs> Back to you, Connor. Back to you, Connor! Alright. Uh, they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, most of the time, anyway. Uh, started playing Blood Omen 2 uh, last mm -hmm. Sunday, and uh, it's just it's just always a treat playing playing that game again. <laughs> Blood Omen is all the game. The gameplay loop is see that guy. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna have a bad day. Oh, yeah. You just you just kill everyone in Blood Omen 2. There's no consequences for it. You you get you uh drink their blood. You get more blood that you can drink. And it's oh. just a it's just a All grand old time. Can drink. We just got we 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 have a drinking game for Blood Omen to oh, uh, take a take a drink every time Kane points at something. Oh Jesus! <laughs> but that's like half the animation. Yeah. People are gonna die. <laughs> You'll be dead. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, oh, no. uh, near yes. the end of the game, you just hold your arm out and just suck up the vodka into Ew. your mouth like Kane. <laughs> indeed, indeed, indeed. Well, uh, yes. Also, check out my DMs Guild, where I release 5th edition content, including uh, the Treasure Hunter Conclave for the Ranger that I am currently working on. Uh, not as yeah. we speak, but in, in the interim. Yeah. Meow. Meow. Very also, meow. my favorite pie is cheery a la mode. Oh, the a la mode. Really, I you forgot. Can't really, you can't really add ice cream to a, like a chess pie like uh, key lime. I mean, you can, but it, it doesn't have the same effect. No, no it, it, it gets a little if weird. If we're, if we're talking a la mode, I go apple. No, cherry. Yeah, it's it's yeah. cherry. But if you just cherry a la mode. Cherry, it, cherry's just like, I don't know. Cherry's always been just a little too syrupy for me. Oh, pecan, oh. pecan pie is really good. Yeah. Pecan all mode? I can see it. Sugar, yeah. sugar cream it. pie, also delicious. Ooh, I've never I've had never, a sugar cream I pie. I don't believe Ugh. I've had a sugar cream pie. It's actually. literally just sugar and cream. In Think of a key lime pie, but just sugar Meat and cream. Meat pie. I, fi I, think <laughs> fuck off. I think that's We've had that. impossible for me to fuck up. Get me <laughs> shepherd's pie a la mode. No. I mean, well, it's your funeral, like... but you know what they say. Customers are always right. So. Just a la mode Speaking with, of customers. With, with potatoes, that'd be okay. You too can become a customer at Die Hard Dice. Uh, if you want Die to... Hard Dice. That's right, Die Hard Dice. <laughs> Tell me more. Whoa! If you are in the market for dice and dice <laughs> accessories, then head on over to DieHardDice.com. You can yeah. use the code Unexpectables exclamation point to save ten percent on your order, uh, and some of that money gets thrown back to us, so we can keep making shows like this one for you guys, absolutely free. Good wow. God above almighty. That sounds like a great deal. Yeah. Indeed. We also get some help from supporters such as <gasps> the Twit Gamer. Thank you for the sub for 22 months. Uh, Aww. Soy can... Soy Canadians. Thank you for the 15 months. Man, I used to not watch or listen to Gateway. Now it's now it's the only thing that I watch. Also, Ooh. Lemon Meringue is my favorite. Mm, oh, yes. Not, not, not a bad hundred choice. Years, Gateway. hundred years Lemon Meringue. Yeah, I was going to... Ah, Nick beat me to it. Not a bad choice. <laughs> Drago soon, thank you for the 100 bits. Let's raid the Rad Lab. Soak Samurai, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Head Priestess Caitlin, lead us in our prayers to the All Devourer. <laughs> I mean, good luck. <laughs> Mad Monk Montague, thank you for the 19 months. Pseudonymic fake name, thank you for the 100 bits. What a good name. Apex clips out of bounds, here's God say it just works in the ether, and then spawns back in. It does just work. Constable Mutton, thank you for the 10 bits. 
looking forward to the wacky hijinks are Snow Sprite Boy gets up to in Soul Hackers 2. Can I get a hee-ho? Hee-ho? Hee-ho. Uh, hee -ho. Uh, I don't know what it's supposed to be uh, like. Hee-ho. Um. Oh, uh, sorry. Hee-ho, yeah. <laughs> oh, like that. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Uh, not all right. quite, but you know. Oh. Jack, Jack Frost is a, is, can be tough on the throat, too, sometimes. Also, he's I understand. Loud. I bet Indeed. he can. Travis, okay. a. Carey, thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, Connor, when are we having Todd Howard on the show as a guest player? Todd! If, if Hit me up. We, we'll Todd. talk. Exactly. Have your people Todd call my people, Howard. which is me. Todd Howard? <laughs> Todd Howard. Todd, uh, Todd Howard. the guy. Oh, yeah. He's probably listening. Yeah, yeah just yeah, come on, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Fight me upon the gift rock, Todd. Whoa. Don't worry. He doesn't have to win. He just has to earn it. Got it. Got it. Got you. There you go. Roku Shobo, thank you for the 100 bits. So happy to finally be here live. I love the funny gateway show. Uh, congrats on having your AC prepared, Lanny. Thank you. Hooray. It feels much better. I My brain is slowly recovering after what was probably at least one or two heat strokes. Oh, well. Mm. Yeah. Midnight Road White, thank you for the 29 months of Prime. Tommy Toon 88, thank you for the five months. Solo Snake Slayer, thank you for the seven months. Listened in on Rabbit Stream earlier today. That was interesting. Oh, yeah, Luke came aboard, and well, you know Luke's hypotheticals. <laughs> <laughs> is it, is it, was it like, hey, Rabbit, hypothetically, what if I walked into your room and I tripped? And I fell mouth first onto your dick. What would you do? No, no, it wasn't uh, anything like that. It uh, was, uh, it was, gotcha. um, it was uh, the compilation. I'll say anyway. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Kane time. Thank you for the twenty-eight months. Uh, I sense um, uh, twenty-eight months since I left the vault. I've discovered a several monstrosities in the wastes. One of the most terrifying is what appears to be a minotaur with a claw on its left arm. Little is known, but is considered highly dangerous if seen. Do not engage. I promise nothing. Hmm. And finally, we've got Epic Lord 8676. Thank you for the 14 months. Happy 14 month anniversary. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a question for everybody. What is your fig? What is your guy's favorite catchphrase? In general? Catchphrase? In general? Sarah, do I have a catchphrase? I feel like you'd know better than anyone. Roses are red, violets are blue. You don't think it'd be that way, but it do. Yeah. And Connor, I know your catchphrase is uh, indeed right now, but what's my <laughs> catchphrase? <laughs> what's your catchphrase? Yeah, me, yeah. What's my catchphrase? Yeah. I, I feel I feel as though the the obvious answer would be uh, die hard dice. It's oh, true. Yeah. It's being spread. And you know what? I do all this gratis for you, die hard dice. Come on, at least like a small pat on the head. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Mine would probably be the one that's sold the most t-shirts, so I'm going to go yeah. with I Am The Hype. Yeah, yeah, that tracks. That tracks. Yeah. I, I don't <laughs> Chicken know. strips. Oh, chicken strips. Those are good. I haven't screamed that in a while. Not since I had that new neighbor. I don't want to upset that. <laughs> I do. Oh, cool. You can scream. You can scream forward. You can scream Chimkin forward. strips. Chimkin strips. Chimkin. Give me my chicken. All right. Well, hey, with that out of the way. I'm wearing the shirt right now. Thank you. Woo! Woo! With that, are we ready to get into tonight's episode of Gateway? I am hey, ready. I am prepared. But is today's episode of Gateway ready for me? I hope so. I hope so, too. Oh, Connor's sure. like, I've been prepping for weeks. I've been preparing specifically. Well, exactly a week, actually. I thought it was two. Nope. It's only been a week. Has it? Yeah. Yeah, it's... Yeah. I think my Caitlin, consciousness left this... for hmm. Caitlin, a minute this, this week. week. I, I know <laughs> we do, but I think something happened in the last week Yeah. that dilated time for me. Damn. Uh, what? 
Uh, Regardless. Your AC fixed? <laughs> time for Gateway, everyone. Yes. Bye, indeed. chat. All right. <laughs> See you later, chat. Oh, and the music came to a crescendo right at the very end. <laughs> Where is it? There it is. Oh, no. This is weird. My, uh, like, the music on Roll20 is coming through my monitor, not my headset. This is bizarre. Oh. How does that even work? I Weird. have no idea. Windows just had an update on me, so I'm guessing it has something to do oh, with that. Don't worry. Yes. It, it, it shouldn't affect anything. I'm just going to try and fix this. Fair thing. enough. Nope. You can, I think you can select Totally fine. Let me know right? if you've got any audio issues, but other than that, let's go ahead and proceed. Ye just got to get the funny thing mm -hmm. here. What funny thing? Uh, in, in this funny thing right here. Oh, oh, oh. That one. Yeah, but, yes. he, but he puts it through the uh, the crinkler. Yep, mm. put it through the crinkler. That's bizarre. I don't hear the crinkler. Yeah, I don't hear the crinkler either. Are you sure the yeah. crinkler's on? I uh, am. It, it's on. They, they can hear it. You guys can't. Okay, good, good. What is happening to our society now? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to find out what's happened in this society right now. <laughs> When last we left the Runaways, Apex the Wild Man, Alvin the Mechanic, Louise the Scavenger, and Cynthia the Nurse, they set out to the town of Westport, intent on finding out what had become of their ally, Toby Blunt. After infiltrating the bougie town via some underground sewers, the gang split up into threes, with Alvin and Louise putting on a sultry display to distract the guards, Cynthia and Dave sneaking into a jazz bar to uncover more information on Toby Blunt, only to be met with a cold reception from the bartender. Meanwhile, Apex climbed across the rooftops. Fearing he'd been discovered by someone, the Apex stayed his hand when he saw a bomb collar around the neck of an armed man. After a brief discussion, the enslaved man told the runaways to meet with them after dark to discuss freeing the slaves of Westport. Now, after napping in the sewers, what will come of this meeting? Find out now on tonight's episode of Gateway. Quick bit. After sleeping, do I heal back what, like, a, a bit of what the rad roach ripped? Uh, you guys slept for a few hours, so... Um... This did happen later in your sleep. Uh, I'll s I'm going to say no, because it, it, it yeah, you'd, you'd have to sleep for a few more hours in order for that to to wear back on. But Sorry, yes, bro. so I, I wake up scratching at my wound and realizing that I had now eaten a rad roach head. Ew. <laughs> Ew. It's protein. It's a raw <laughs> rad roach, but but there you go. Normally, he eats his pillow. No, Rad Roach that had been living, Rad Roach that had been living in, uh, oh, don't. in the sewers for who knows no. how long. But that's okay. I'm it's sure, sure. Just as it's just as cleanly as anywhere else in the. I am yep, sure nothing clean. bad will come they're, they're from clean. that. They're, they are in the sewer. Bugs are super clean. You're fine. You're... I'm sure nothing bad will come from that. Uh huh. Uh. Right, so, uh, Louise, you would know, because you're the only one who really has a, a, a clock in this day and age, uh, that the, <laughs> you've, you've waited about five hours at this point, and with not much to, uh, not much that interrupted your waiting period, uh, now would be about uh th it'd start getting dark it is dusk adjacent yeah, it, it's probably about eight o'clock at this point i glance at her watch and just go just kind of stretch and yawn and just go i think that's time gentlemen and lady well <clears throat> y'all feel better after sleeping actually yeah, I feel dude. worse than when i went to sleep oh yeah. That's right. Uh, sorry, I forgot. I don't have body heat, so they kind of bypassed me. They? 
A rad roach may have gotten past me. Mm. Uh, that happens. Well, it's not the most dangerous thing in the world. Well, let's you'll go know for wakes you friends. Up, Glances at Apex in his uh half rat, half of the rad roach body. He's holding his hand and it gave Apex a snack. Actually, all I had was the head, and that is mostly gone. I, th I think uh, Cynthia took the body to carve it out. Yep. That is correct. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I mean, Ten ounces of things. rad roach meat. Um, uh, she will hand the rad roach plating over to Apex, though. Thank you. I, uh, sorry, but uh, you can have this, and, uh, oh, uh, there was this as well. She holds out the uh, 10 ounces of rad roach meat. Mm. I put it in a wrap in my satchel. All right. And we begin to make our way out of the sewers. You make your way out of the sewers. That sounds pretty good. The door <laughs> opens up for you after some hydraulic hissing. And you find yourself back onto the darkened streets of Westport. Well, the good news is it should be a lot easier to prowl around, man. They said we should make our way to the side door this way. All right, you lead on. I lead on. Mm-hmm. I approach the door they inform me about, and I give it a knock. All right, you knock on the door. A couple seconds later, you see sort of an eye slit open in this uh, in this door. And the pair of dark eyes peers out at you. Password. Bane breaker. <laughs> Door opens, uh, and you see uh, a rather large, bald man uh, wearing sort of a work uniform, work overalls, uh, open the door for you and usher you in. I nod as I walk past. I guess just go. I'm just shifting my eyes from side to side, taking a look at everybody. All right, you see around here appears to be um, appears to be some sort of small uh, tavern looking establishment. Uh, let me bring up. Speakeasy. That is precisely what this looks like. It looks like a speakeasy. Nice. The picture for us? No. I love the speakeasies. <gasps> Imagine the speakeasy in your mind. But don't talk about it. Because that's what a speakeasy is. Just think about. about it. Yes, the mm -hmm. you uh you see a sign on one of the walls that says Westport Social. And uh you see a lot of the individuals in here appear to be wearing bomb collars. You but see, not, uh, all of them? not all of them. There are maybe two or three people here who are not wearing bomb collars. Oh, wow. As I'm walking through, okay. how have you managed to stay undiscovered all this time? Yeah. By being very, very selective of our clientele. And nobody's asked questions. Not really. They like hearing the clink of caps in their pocket better than any excuses that we got. Although, nowadays, bribes are starting to work less and less. What was that? Well, ever since people started dying, things got a bit more dire. Hmm. Who 
who's in charge around here? That'd be Mikhail. He's the one playing poker over with those two at the table. And he points to a man with um, sort of uh, very curly, light brown hair uh, that goes down to just below his neck, tied into a ponytail. He's wearing uh, thick-rimmed glasses, uh, but he's got a steely gaze about him. The apex nods and begins making his way that way. I'm going to follow your lead on this one. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm letting you... I'm letting you take you take the rain, but I'm gonna be sticking close just in case things get, you know, roughened. Cynthia will be following, but paying attention to people and ensuing conversations around the area. Uh, Louise is mostly curious about those guys without the collars, but otherwise she'll just kind of follow. And like I said, Apex seems to know what he's doing. So, tis a grand illusion. <laughs> Secret, secret. You walk over to the table and you see about three men that are playing poker. Uh, all of them, all three of them look up to you at the same time. And they all rest their cards on the table and, and they look forward. I stare. <laughs> I go ahead and just give a swift nod. Evening. Evening. Never seen any of you around here before. Hmm. Perhaps you have. I just never noticed. Yeah, well. <clears throat> I never had much cause to notice, I suppose. Who are you? Alvin Bronson. Co cocks my head, cocks his head to the side. I am the Apex. Ah. Yes, you're the one I'd heard about. Again, small smile under the mask. <laughs> kind of covertly just gives Apex a little pat on the shoulder like, good job, buddy. <laughs> then you must be the runaways. Thumbs up. Got it on one. Well... Welcome to Westport Social. We hear you're running the resistance here. He he raises a hand to sort of uh, say lower your voice. I don't know he, how he, much lower I can get it. He <laughs> he <laughs> ushers to the man at the door to close it and lock it once more. Uh, and then he motions for you to sit down. He says, gentlemen, we'll continue this game another time. For now, take your earnings and grab yourself a drink on the house. Some rather serious looking men. Uh, you see... Uh, you see one man that's... Uh, the man you saw earlier wearing these sort of velvety black shirt that was nicely tucked in with a pistol get up from the game table um and he offers you a seat apex uh notably as well uh this would have immediately caught all of your eyes you see someone that is very clearly wearing uh the vestments of somebody from the family also sitting at the table wearing Ooh. sort of wearing sort of a fedora tilted just slightly over his eyes he stands up rolls his shoulders and he just seems to get out of the way. Does he have a bomb collar? He does not. Mm. I, I keep my eye on them. I oh, offer Cynthia my will be all watching wherever that person goes. I offer the chair to pretty much anybody else in the party. Apex has no interest in sitting. Oh, hey, I'll... Since uh, Cynthia's perceiving... Uh, I'll hold a hand out to Louise if y'all want to sit in that. So I just glanced around. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I feel weird if I'm the only one sitting, guys. But, but I'll sit. But I'll sit. 
Then Thea will notice that Alvin has pulled a chair for Louise and smiled to herself. <laughs> Specifically. It's herself. the only other chair, right? Or are there two other chairs? I'm for, yeah, the, for the flavor. The family, the family. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, the family guy also left, so it, it would. Ass I'd assume there are two different two chairs <laughs> open now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, sweet. I'll go ahead and send the other chair upon which we used to rely. He left the table, but he is still in the building. You see him just sort of playing darts off in the corner somewhere. Moved on quick. Now I guess there's no Man's shame. Man's not loyal to this game. Warm form. All right. So. My man tells me that you might be able to help us out. Hmm. An ally of ours has been imprisoned. We want to make that right, and it seems like assisting you would aid in this. If you're referring to Mr. Blunt, then we share a common ally. Good. Oftentimes he would... Relay secret signals to us through the radio broadcasts. Places to meet, places that weren't safe. Etc. Seems he had his fingers in many pies. He wanted to see us free. Well, I for one said why. How long ago did, uh, Toby Blunt get nicked? It must have been days ago at this point. Not long. Shortly after... A strange... Afternoon... Mid-day broadcast started playing. The people noticed the callers uh, beginning to go haywire, being disabled... Mm. At first we thought nothing of it, but then, maybe about an hour later, the, well, the other slaves came. Mm. Apparently they had heard that this was some sort of paradise, the best place you could hope to end up if you were a slave. Well, I suppose they were half right. And they all came down full of just just snorting fire and thunder before you could go ahead and get your stuff underway, huh? The taste of freedom, I suppose, had intoxicated some and overwrit their better judgment. I'm oh, sure you've heard. I'm, I'm sure you've heard. Guards were attacked and people were killed. Uh, yeah, I've heard about the scrapping and the killing. And that is what happens when you cage an animal that is meant to be free. Mm-hmm. Sad truth. He he like chews on one of his nails, and then he looks at you. That's the thing, though, Mister. Apex. We are not animals. We are human beings. What is the difference to you? Animals they only know They only rely on their instincts to get them out of situations. They fall back on them in order to survive, and in a lot of cases, especially nowadays, that can be a good trait to have. But there are some parts of the world where Having an open mind, having the wits to navigate around, will help, will help you more than survival instincts. Although I suppose they're all the same. 
Mm. We wanted... We wanted to do this non-violently. <clears throat> but it's past that point now. Is that honestly going to be realistic? No offense. Y'all wanted to draw it in a, a negotiation since... It's a little All hard to negotiate when one side has an explosive device around their neck. Mm -hmm. Precisely. That's why we were hoping to get them off before any negotiations started. And what was your plan for doing so? The mayor has something like a system a request board, if you would. The owners of slaves, if they're deemed obedient enough, can be freed. She has a device to disable the collars. Straightens up. Uh, really? Is it kind of like a wand? I try to describe the device that I used uh, I used in the uh, the arena to him. Is it anything from what, like that? From what we've heard, it's something along those lines, yes. I suppose you would know. Yes, yes, I've, I'd happen to be an authority on that one. So you were going to negotiate to go ahead and have access to that device and then start the negotiations? How was that supposed to work? Well, initially the plan was to try and analyze the device, get one of my people in there to check out its specs, maybe download them onto something and try and recreate it. What if I told you we had access to another such device? One that would be a lot easier to get your people into. He raises an eyebrow. I would be very intrigued by such a prospect. After yeah. our incursion at the arena, we took care of their present leadership. And right now in their place is a person much friendlier to our cause. Really? Mm-hmm. It would definitely go ahead and cut down on the need to do any reverse engineering. One of your companions, your fellow players, they look to be familiar with the family's comings and goings. How familiar are you? Mm, probably not as intimate is your knowledge of the goings-on. I haven't been to the arena in years. But do you know the big players within their organization? <sighs> Daniel Deuce Damasco. Olander Carpenter. And then I kind of glance at Louise. The third one. And there's a third. Mm. Oland was quite popular when I was still in the arena. Deuce. Deuce I know very well. Cynthia turns. He frequents this place. Does he now? Turns back to the family member she was watching. He's still just playing darts. Seemingly by himself. And, uh, the third is apparently a little, little newer, but, uh, they called him Barry the Rat. He, he squints and looks at you. That name's not familiar to me. Fair enough. Well, must have been a very recent change. And Big O is the one that is presently in charge at the arena. They found him. 
We found him. Hmm. Interesting. You can guarantee us getting specs of that device, then? I can't guarantee anything, but with the proper introduction, speaking in enough code, mm. it is a significantly higher chance of success than you sneaking into the mayor's place and doing what you will. I don't deny that. I'm a good friend of Big O, too. I can go ahead and vouch for his character. He hasn't changed. Perhaps you could give them a letter, Alvin, of introduction. You know what? I could. I'll regard the man. Do y'all happen to have a pen, maybe some paper lying around? Uh, he sort of reaches into like a, a handbag that he's got at his side and he pulls out what appears to be an old notepad and sort of a uh, ballpoint pen. Hmm. All right. Here, give me just a second real quick. I'll go ahead and... Uh... I'll go ahead and get down to the bottom of this real quick. Uh, I'll go over there to wrap real quick, just so I'm not distracting. Apex, uh, you can just keep on doing what y'all doing, Phil. And I will go ahead and compose. I must say, you are full of surprises. We're pretty good at that. Hmm. Our methods aren't conventional. So I hear. I hear the family lost two-thirds of their number in that raid. Hmm. Louise does a little whistle, low, a very quiet low whistle, just like, whew. Damn, we did good. Yeah, as far as I know... As far as I know, their patrols have dwindled in the area, and most have coalesced back into the arena. Sounds about right. Which leaves us here. We seek to... liberate our fellow companion. Hmm. Where do you stand on that front? It doesn't sit well with me leaving an ally of ours to rot, but... As it stands now, acting on that front would be... A... Well, it would lead to a messy results. As far as I know, the mayor and Toby are old friends, so I'm hoping that they can work this out individually, but she... Well, she was not happy. I can imagine. Uh, you asked how so. Well, we were storing explosives... Do things the old-fashioned way. Do things your way, respectfully. Hmm. Mm. But once that happens, all bets are off. I didn't want it to come to this. For its faults, this place is still safe. It is still civilization. Despite the rot that has come over it in the years it's been aloft. Perhaps. Toby tells it a different way. Its roots are a bit more clean. Perhaps a bit more of a refined approach, then. That's what we were hoping for. Is there any... Just hate the idea of leaving Toby there to rot. 
Is there any way to get a message to him at least? Let him know that we're trying? Without, you know, alerting anybody, but... We could try, although his cell is heavily guarded and visited frequently by the mayor. This mayor, I'm familiar with the title. It is a position granted by the people. Yes. So if she's to sway the people in another direction, that title would fall to another. What are y'all planning? Hearts and minds. Hearts and minds, huh? Is that a thing we can do? Yeah. Louise is sort of like, how does that work? Putting together a campaign is not something you just do overnight. It takes months of work. Yeah, we didn't exactly um, have a general election back in my day. <laughs> it all starts with a message, right? Your message is freedom and prosperity. Theirs is security and conservation. Oh, I think I see what you're doing. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, I thought you were trying to say that the feller across from us here should run? Is that what you're saying? Can, um, glances at our host, no offense, would a slave be allowed to run? <laughs> but this guy that we're talking to, he doesn't have a, does he have a collar on? He does not have a collar on. Yeah. Okay, he, but so he, then I take but that he's, back. Facts, he smiles and shakes his head. I don't think a slave would be allowed to run. Hmm. Even then, I feel like campaigning for a new politician in town is not exactly going to bode well right after a catastrophe. People are not going to want to change up their leadership in the midst of it. Unless their political prisoner is the candidate. Oh, I was so close to getting this right. I am not built for politics, Apex. Well, Louise once again glances at What's their politics? host, just sort of like, is this plausible? I'm gonna go with probably not. Well, I don't want to say it aloud because I don't want to hurt Apex's feelings. Oh, well, from my understanding, you understand, I think politics is something about a bunch of people wanting things done a certain way, and then there's a it's a lot like this, you, you know, mayors and what have you, instead of, you know, warlords and uh, people under. Ugh, shit goes over my head. I appreciate the ideology you're headed for, Apex. It's just that trying to sway a town to put a man in charge who kept things from them that only cater to the slaves in this situation are not going to bode well for the people that aren't slaves. You would need someone who's going to cater to both sides to pull that kind of a stunt. Especially right now, after some people have been hurt and killed. Some feller who can act like a bridge between the two. Maybe besides... I don't think we've got a candidate like that available. Well, your only Thanks. other option is revolution. Not necessarily. I do think that we could go ahead with getting people to the uh, arena to get callers off and having a discussion with the mayor with a greater bargaining tool and the fact that they're not controlled by the bomb callers anymore. I feel as though something was lost in translation. There is no way I'm getting people out of the city. An exodus of that size would be improbable. Well, but you could get out one or two here or there. Louise snaps her fingers all of a sudden, just like, I have a thought. Yeah. You said you wanted to get someone into uh, the mayor's office and, like, get data off of that the remover thing, right? Yes, we had some slaves on the inside that 
are good with technology and could possibly gather some schematics and bring them to us. We have capable engineers among our ranks as well. We could Turns try to, to reverse engineer something. Turns to Alvin. If mm. everything has gone right and Big O is now in charge over the, the arena, can we just do that over there? We'd have time now if Big O was backing us to look over that thing and get some some schematics from it. Then we just bring them back over here. It wouldn't be too... Yeah, it wouldn't be too out of the ordinary to go ahead and take a look at that thing and see how it ticks while I'm but not getting shot at. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, the front door of that booth is completely mangled, but that device, as far as I know, still works. <laughs> if that doesn't sound like something you want to do, sir, I'm just about done drafting this out for y'all. Do y'all want me to make this out to, like, the bearer of this letter or something like that? Whatever you think is going to be appropriate, Mr. Uh, McHale. Well, if it is Oland, you may very well remember me. In a positive or a negative light? That I'm not sure of. When did you last see Oland? He sort of looks up and to the side, trying to remember. Years ago, I... Can't quite recall how long ago it was. I've sort of blocked out most of that. And what was the last context in which you saw him? He was one of the right-hand men of the Dawn. What were you then, if I can ask? A slave. But you... So you fought the arena and were good enough and got to leave? No. I was sold here. Yeah. And you worked your way to freedom. You were one of the ones deemed subjugate enough to have your collar removed, but still stick around. He smiles and closes his eyes. Not exactly. Hmm. Yeah, to enlighten us then. He reaches into his pocket and he pulls out a bomb collar, and he affixes it to his own neck, and the red light signaling that it's on flickers for a moment and then fizzles out just because of the... You assume the, the radio signal that is being broadcast. Mm, I see. And then he reaches back. And it falls from his neck and he catches it before it hits the floor. Though it had a faulty triggering device. No, I'm just good. Oh. So you did that? Hmm. Then why do you why do you need us why do you need the one in the mayor's office? Sounds like with the situation being as it is, you could you can't get the rest of them off yourself? And not as many people are as willing to risk their own necks literally for me to try and disable their collars. And knowing that okay. device would remove the, uh, knowing that device in and out would go ahead and eliminate the chance of an error, too. Was there a percent chance that this guy would have just blown his head off in front of us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> is what I'm hearing. <laughs> oh, go Jesus Christ! <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> It's like, oh my just god. sitting at the table, viscera covering all of our faces. <laughs> I don't I, I don't get it. What, what like was he trying to prove? Is this a magic trick? It's like something oh out of god. a Tarantino movie. Oh shit, what? Well, I just suddenly, blew Snoopy's head off. You guys suddenly just feel like playing fucking Russian roulette with his own skull. 
<clears throat> I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's how it be. <laughs> Um, you see, I used to be with the Brotherhood of Steel. I was a demolitions expert. Apex's eyes widened slightly. And now oh, I'm... Oh, shit. Now I'm here. That's a hell of a resume. Oh. Unfortunately, it wasn't for very long. And, and as much as I would like to get back, it's been a while for me. How does a member of the Brotherhood get captured and enslaved like that? His his half grin sort of fades to a frown. We're not doing so good nowadays. Hmm. Oh, I'm guessing the archers, right? That's a large part of it. What's the rest? The rest is, well... People sort of put their faith in the Brotherhood of Steel years before the archers muscled in. Brotherhood of Steel offered protection in exchange for men and crops and the handing over of technology and land. And, and land, yes. And when the people saw that the Brotherhood of Steel was so easily overpowered by an unknown group, well, there was a lot of faith lost there. Oh, I get it. Oh. So it's easier to pick you off. Because they were scattered because of all of that, I'm guessing. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. What I happened? One thing, but seeing a guy tell you story. were captured. Had you ever met a nam named Bruce? Bruce? Dread. No, unfortunately. Well, all of that is besides the fact our current situation uh, is more pressing in my mind. Well, the basics of what I think I'm getting from you is that much as we would like to run in guns blazing right now and get Toby out, you would prefer if we maybe wait it off a tiny bit. Get something more solid, more solid of a plan in order, am I right? I would prefer that this situation not escalate any further. We may be caged animals, as some might say, but this is still our jungle. All right. Understood. Ah, uh, it's so much more difficult when you have to be diplomatic. It's not exactly my strong suit. <laughs> so, beyond, as we said, <laughs> going the route of playing politics, what way can we get Toby out without stirring up more trouble? Because the only way I can see right now is waiting out the mayor to finally take pity and decide Toby's okay to go. Which sounds <clears throat> a little... You might be waiting road. for a while. That too. How'd that go down anyway? Did he get pulled off the air while he was doing his radio? Or did they finish the show and he just didn't show back up? Apparently, someone had seen him tampering with the radio uh in some fashion, and one of the guards put two and two together, learned that it wasn't a coincidence, did some investigating, and reported it to the mayor. Ah, oh, jeez. That simple. 
Yeah, pretty hard for even Toby to sweet talk his way out of that. What's the prison like here? Well, as far as I know, it's not utilized much. It's more just like a small storage area that's well guarded. So it's being converted into so it's being converted into a prison then. Is there still Essentially. a bounty on our heads? There is a bounty out for you, although I'm not entirely sure if the family is up for paying it at the moment. Fair point. Well, yeah, can't really claim a bounty if the paymasters went got smashed up. Ah, uh, nice. I think it'll be a while before they're able to pay anybody for anything like that. And how exactly does the power structure of Westport view the runaways? Well, as far as I'm aware, Toby Blunt is your ally. We deal frequently with the family and seeing as how you've made enemies of the family, I would have to hazard a guess that the powers that be don't see you too favorably. Suffice to say, we ain't walking into the mayor's office for a chat anytime soon. And you say Mr. Deuce shows up here on a frequent basis? Yes. Uh, a bit more so now that uh, the arena was... Well, I'm sure you know. Mm. The mayor like him? I don't think anybody likes Deuce. Hmm. But he is good at making money. And... One has to respect how weaselly he can be. Hmm. No. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. I don't like it either. <laughs> oh, jeez, Apex. Uh, who she is? She has a thousand yard stare for a second because she's just like, fucking Barry. And no who is that uh, man that you have here? The... She gestures over to the guy that has some of the family stuff on. Ah, Bruno. Bruno is our convertee, our inside man in the family. Hmm. He's your mole. <clears throat> Essentially. Fortunately, he was not there during the scene of your attack. Didn't go well for many of the family. So, so I, I would heard. say yes. What sort of information has Bruno gotten for you over the, what, months, years? Years, and he's essentially told me family patrol routes... Uh, any potential new recruits that may have been bought recently? Hmm. Hmm. Things like that. Right. Huh. Okay, then. Well, at least he's a friend oh you're thinking otherwise I understand uh, Bruno sort of since uh, hearing people uh, muttering about him he just sort of looks over his shoulder and whoop, throws another dart at the dartboard 
Cynthia watches to see how good he is at throwing darts. As it turns out... Uh, he hit the board. But he he threw it while he was looking at you all, so he didn't really... He, he wasn't really even focused <laughs> on, on, on hitting it to begin with. Nice, eavesdropping. It's so like either that would have been really cool or just like it hits the wall instead. Just like... Mm. And he just slowly saunters over to the dartboard and plucks the darts back out and <laughs> begins again. Alternate liberation plan. Hmm? If we got... some of us were to somehow end up in that prison with Toby and manage to break out, it would not look like another slave uprising, just a... another attack by the runaways. And one or two of them managed to get caught and talk to Toby. That would get him out. What we wanted. Oh, I see. Oh, this sounds fun. Cause Louise kind of rubs her hands together. Well, it's not like we don't have experience breaking out of secure environments. Which is why I don't <laughs> think it would work. Aww. Why? And so they may just kill you. That's been the threat every time. Yeah, but we don't want to kill these people back. Right, that we would. Maybe they we don't, away. Apex. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Anything that tries to kill me is my enemy. That's why you're so, not going. That's why you're not going to be part of this breakout plan. But I get you. I get Maybe you. they wouldn't do it right away. Maybe they'd want to see if they could get that reward, and then they'd find out they couldn't, but by then maybe we could get out. I don't know. I'm spitballing here. All I know is that the town is on very high alert. Mm -hmm. And if you were to make yourselves known, I'm not sure what would happen. That sounds like a lot would go bad very fast. Well, like I said, me. it's not every day that a group of wanted, well, you're not criminals, but armed and dangerous people walk into the center of Westport and just give themselves up. Who said we would give ourselves up? Apex wouldn't be allowed for that part. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, it would I... Have, it would have to look like a capture. Well, actually, my thought would actually be, why would we give... Why would all of us give ourselves up? True. Oh, okay. Mm. The power structure of this town. Should the mayor disappear, who would be in charge? Mm. Oh, they probably have a contingency for something like that. Maybe. Maybe. Unless there is... Unless it's never happened before. Totalitarian regime may not have a structure in its place. Connor, I have a... I have a dumb question. Uh-huh. Alright, so with Westport and me being a former white raider and whatnot, and now as we do, we introduce ourselves and do, um, you know, property reallocation. Uh -huh. <laughs> Would I know through raid and whatnot whether or not they do have a plan like that in place, or the things of that nature through a raider's mindset, like this is a place we shouldn't go because we'll be shot dead in the head. To, to a raider's mindset, basically, it would be whoever's the strongest would take the next spot. Okay. Well, if you don't want violence, then my best bet is that you use... 
the and I look back to uh, Louise and Cynthia political tactics. No, it was back in the day. You start it, small. You get people invested in the message. This one would be simple. Free Toby. I imagine he was popular. I imagine people liked him for many reasons. The old, yeah. If enough people are behind that, the powers that be would have to answer. Hmm. In some capacity. I don't know about making Toby mayor, but... We could work on changing the perception of him so that it would be in the mayor's worse interest to keep him locked up. Oh, that does sound a little bit more attainable. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But just... I don't know how we'd sow that seed to all of Westport, let alone anywhere else. That's why you have an organization. And I look back to Mikhail. People on the ground level that can spread the word, spread the message, spread the hope. People that people here already know. I wonder... And Cynthia kind of cocks a hip and puts her hand under her chin. I wonder if it doesn't have to be as deep as that. I wonder if people can just be annoyed that the radio jockey's just bad at his job. Her job. Her job. You know that... With enough complaints yeah. that Toby isn't there to make life a little easier every day, you might be able to use his um, celebrity status to get him out and maybe just looked over as he continues his day-to-day. -day. Gets him out of prison in the least. They just replace the current person until they find someone that people will tolerate. Ugh. Louis just kind of puts her head on the table. God, uh, can we just jailbreak? Oh, I'm so right with you. down for that, but you No. Peace. We're... We already had enough killing in the last we're, couple weeks. I don't think we need more. Well, the big thing is we're trying not to escalate these damn things, but we still gotta either go ahead and find a way to... to and help Toby the, out of this bird. Either then you either need the people on your side or you need a smaller knife. Is well, that... wait a minute. Mm. Louise brings her head back up and thinks. She she looks at uh, the ho our host. What do you know about the sewers that run on the sewers underneath this place? I know that we've been storing explosives down there for a while. Yeah, 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 none none of the upper management wants to go down there, so nobody's found it yet. Is that what do the sewers extend? Are? Do the these sewers extend throughout the entire town? No. Damn. Unfortunately, if it were. Do they? I'm just. I mean, again, I'm just trying to think of something. Do they extend underneath the prison? Uh. <laughs> Let me look a moment. I believe they do. Okay. So, run this scenario with me real quick. You say you got explosives, right? Yes. How plausible is it to set up a ex controlled explosion underneath the prison, blow out the bottom of it, and get out Toby that way? Then we're not above level. We can take him out through the sewers if we run our asses fast enough. And hopefully if he survives no the fall. Hurt. 
That's why I said controlled. Controlled hmm. explosion. I think you may be overestimating how well equipped we are for something like that. <sighs> for that, a quieter approach would be better anyway. You'd want to dig through the concrete. Oh, yeah, that, 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 that doable? I just, I, I just go ahead and just pat one of the power fists on my belt and just nod. Mr. McHale, since you seem to have the best idea of what the situation in this town is, what guidance would you give for us? Yeah. What is your preferred path forward? I liked your... Play this. I liked your plan with getting the device that would get the callers off safely. If you can do that for me... It might take some doing, but I think... We could handle the rest. We need to show the upper... We need to show the powers that be in this town that... We can be a part of it without being collared. Well, we can get you your introduction to getting that. Getting the device may be more on you. We don't know how to construct one. If but if an introduction hmm. But if an introduction is all that's needed at the moment, that's easy enough to set up. Absolutely. I got it right here waiting for you. I just hold the piece of paper and I just slide it back to Mikhail. Oh, uh, he... thanks for the pen by the way. Hmm. You just send your gopher with that. That might be your best bet. Maybe your friend over there. And I look back to the family man. Precisely what I was thinking. So, in this scenario, how long does it take to get Toby out? Well... It sounds like we would be able to return later to try to continue this quest of ours. He's, a, he's, a, he's alive and he's alive and being taken care of at least no, no, we I just also know where he is and whatnot so i just hate I, leaving him in there i don't he think did. that he's in any danger toby and the mayor are old friends and louise raises an eyebrow Wait. Moreover, the people that would want him dead are sort of scrambling at the moment. Just to clarify, this is just on my own curiosity. When you say old friends, do you mean old friends or raises or fingers just as the quotation mark symbol? Old I, friends. I don't know. I don't know him that well. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, either way, sounds like he's safe enough. And it's going to take time to get that introduction message sent off and have the proper back and forth for all that. So, I think this is just on pause for the moment. <sighs> all Meanwhile, right, while Deuce is in town, where does he usually frequent? What establishments? Oh, he's a wily old drunk. You could usually find him at the... Old jazz club throwing back cocktails. Fuzzies as well. And there's a saloon in town. Hmm. All right. I think if we stay here any longer, if we're sniffing around for a deuce or anything else, that's going to go ahead and bring more eyes on us. I think we can't have the right of it for right now. Right. I think if we mess much more, we could put the message they're sending in jeopardy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a peaceful resolution may not be an option if we're here much longer. Look, then we'll uh... Then we'll return in a few days. Yeah. Look, Mikhail, uh... In the meantime, uh... 
while before we put this on unpause again, if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye out for Deuce and also that Barry for us, because apparently he shows up around here too. Be appreciated. I see. What does this Barry look like? <sighs> kind of closes her eyes for a second. Uh, lanky guy, glasses usually, dirty blonde hair, face you kind of want to punch. Why is it whenever somebody says that, I always either I always picture a Franco. They just hit, like. <laughs> we will, like Philip. Mm. Really, I think of McLovin every time. Like, <laughs> Philip the Franco. It's like, oh no, not no, not no. no I'm, th I'm thinking of like I'm thinking of like you know like a James Franco, like the, something somebody that has like a lot of like tooth forward face. Um, <laughs> oh. not 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 McLovin. I actually way back when when I was discussing this with Connor, I sent him pictures of an appropriate guy. I know there was an actor in there that you may remember, but I'd have to look for him. Oh yeah, I do. Um, it's more like here. I'll put it in general. It's because I found <laughs> I found the pictures. It's more like this feel for Barry. Ah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. It's, less, it's a great less, war we, he was doing Arby's reviews. It, God damn. It's less. It's less like <laughs> a, a nerdy guy and more like one of those Silicon Valley guys. Gotcha. That's. <laughs> It's, Someone with a face kinda, so smug, you just want to fucking smack him. I'm oh, really glad oh, I didn't say what I was about to say. <laughs> Why? Because at first glance, I thought that was Kaiser. Oh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not right. I just I just Google image these. Is that it's not him, right? I, I don't I don't think so. Well, the chat can't see it regardless, so okay. not what Indeed. I'm talking about. No. Okay. I don't think it is. I, it's no, just, I legit no. don't remember what Kaiser looks like because I haven't I, met him in person in ages. If I, I don't think it's him. It's not. I don't think it's okay. him. No, it's so, not. It's not. Someone with a face that you just love to slap, like Ben Shapiro. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is a slap. Oh, yeah, face. there's a good one. Yeah, yeah, that feel. Not like the looks, but the feeling you get from it. Mm. In, indeed. Mm. Anyway. Anyway, so yeah. yeah sorry, I'll we're back. be sure to note that down. Mm-hmm. Appreciated. Hmm. Our current situation may not be what you intended, but I will say that you've done a great good for all of us here in the Wasteland. Honestly, that's kind of one of the nicest things I could hear, honestly. Hmm. Things are more complicated underneath the surface, but you've shown these people that you can stand up to an oppressive force. Oh, you absolutely can. He smiles. Well, if that's all we have for right now, I've got a poker game to get back to. Absolutely. I think the best way back to where we were getting to would probably be, what do y'all think, getting back through the sewers? Yeah, that's likely sure. our best bet. I think all we right. can trail back the way we came in. I think that's for the best. I'll uh, I'll talk to Bruno real quick. Just make sure uh, just make sure he gets this and just what to say and whatnot. Let him know it's for me. Uh, well, Bruno sort of turns around, hearing his name said again. I just hold this uh, letter between my fingers. Uh, Got a little something for you to go ahead and deliver next time we get back to the uh, back to the arena. Sort of snatches it out of your hands and looks over at Mikhail. Mikhail nods. Now that's to uh, that's to Olin. Uh, I know him as Big O. Um, While well, I was thinking about a couple of things, I would let him know that uh, it's for me. If you just let him, if you just let him know it's from the. Uh, it, it's from a, it's from an old fighter that he saved outside of the town, and that's to 
the ice cream man. He'll he'll know what you mean. He'll know what you mean. Sounds weird, but you'll know what it is. He'll know what it is. He like sighs and rolls his eyes and he looks over at Mikhail. This guy for real. <sighs> All right. Look, look, just look, just say it's from the Raider and it's to the ice cream man. He'll know what it means. He sort of tucks it into his uh, suit pocket. And uh, thanks for doing that. Yeah. All righty. Well, uh, I'll just look back to everybody with a I think we're good kind of look on his face. Cynthia's going to study Bruno for a minute just to see, like, because he, he seems a little pissed about it to a degree. Uh, roll me, I guess, a wits check to try and gauge what he's thinking about. Mm, okay. Wits check to read Eight. Eight. Um, with an eight just from studying his face, um, you can tell he's a bit annoyed at all of this. He's... He's got... He's got it written on his face that he... he doesn't... That he doesn't like this. That he doesn't like what he was just asked to do. Cynthia will then come up and kind of bow her head in greeting. We do apologize for the inconvenience. He just looks at you and like wipes his mustache with the back of his hand. Uh, okay. What's all this? How do you mean? What are you doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah, what are you, trying to butter me up or something? You just seem flustered. <laughs> so I came to apologize for the inconvenience. Bet your ass it's an inconvenience. <laughs> Well, is it just the, the struggle of going out of town for it, or am I missing something? Do you know how much I gotta stick out my frickin' neck for this? All right? Right. And now you got this smiling goon over here telling me that I gotta go deliver a message to some ice cream man or something? Right. But the hell's an ice cream? Oh. Well, you know what? You should come to, uh, uh... She kind of looks at, uh, Alvin for a minute, like, Can I tell him that I'm coming to Riverside? Can Louise hear this from where she's sitting? I'm going to try to silently lurk behind him. Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Lanny, you are the only man I have ever known who can use the number 12 is, to end a sentence. Is this, is this, you're trying to sneak behind him and intimidate him or just sort just of Just standing be there? behind him without him noticing. I will speak if I want to. He does not notice you. Cool. <laughs> and he, and he's just. Uh. Look, cream is uh you should come by Riverside sometime. It it's a code phrase, right? We all have code phrases. Everybody from the highest person to the lowest man has kind of a code phrase. It's a code phrase. Like I said, Owen will know what it is. Yeah, no, I got that, buddy. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll swing by your little town if I don't have a fucking hole in my head. I doubt very highly that you will. Yeah, well, what makes you, th what you don't makes know you that. Think that might... Gosh, gosh, I don't know. 
Uh, maybe it's because a bunch of fucking people that uh, are dressed like me uh, just got slaughtered recently. Or it could also be due to the fact that I'm, you know, double dipping. And uh, if I get caught out, I'll get... Actually, a hole in the head would probably be the easiest way out, actually, if at that point. Recommend two sets of clothes. Jesus! Louise <laughs> <laughs> just starts guffawing over. Whoever the hell that is. Cynthia just flatlines her face, like, for come on, man. Well, I feel like the guy who was gonna go ahead and skin you and or put a hole in the back of your head and all that, he's a uh, he's not a problem anymore. Well, think of it like this. I you're on him. you're on the side of the people that stopped the people that were the bad people quotes so if you were going to be in danger it would have been probably from us more than anyone he sort of like dusts off his jacket and takes a few back steps away from Apex back towards the back towards the uh, poker table. He sort of growls under his breath. <laughs> Look, I ain't stupid, all right? All from right. what I hear, from what I hear, you people are good, okay. All right. But we've been working at something here for a long time, and it's been slow going, but it's been honky dory, and now, now everything is uncertain. Everything's moving faster. As you get closer to your goal. Yeah. Look, I've been through that too. Uh, uh, hell. But we're yeah. here to make sure it goes smooth. Exactly. Oh, smooth. You've already got someone there waiting for you. To help. Oh, I'm sure. Taking a wrecking ball to the side of the arena and killing a whole bunch of people, people that I knew. That was pretty smooth for you, I suppose. Not actually, no. Well, I'm sorry. I appreciate that. Cynthia puts a hand on Apex's shoulder and just kind of steps him over towards Alvin and then steps back. Hmm. What? Listen. Uh... We know that this is a lot, and it's happening mighty fast. And things are in an uncertain state right now. And me apologizing for the inconvenience is, is also me trying to say thank you for going to the trouble. I know it's not a certain time right now, but this is the change that's going to help make it stable again. Make a charm roll. And I get a plus one because of my first time friendship. Nine. Nine. That's he like, good. he he takes his fedora off and he just sort of like runs a hand through his black slicked hair. And he lets out a big. <sighs> You're welcome. She smiles. Get the fuck out of my face. I gotta poke it again and get back to... <laughs> of course. And I do mean <clears throat> it. Stop by Riverside sometime. We'll treat you to lunch. And an ice cream. So. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> he sort of slumps back into his chair and he grabs his cards that were sitting there. As he slumps back into his chair, if he turns his head, he'll see Cynthia. Uh, he'll see Louise sitting right next to him, still in her chair, with her chin in her chin in her fi with her fist under her chin, holding it up. She just goes, 
Hi. He gives you a very blank stare. Now, what do you, uh, you want to give me some her. words of encouragement too? Louise does that trademark grin. Oh, no, no, we're about ready to head out anyway. As she gets up, she leans in and whispers, the next time be nice to my friends. Because I'm not that nice. Bye. Cynthia, like, face palms like we just got... <laughs> uh. Well... She I... think killer. <laughs> you wish. Oh. Well, uh, thank you for getting me out of that. <laughs> Diplomacy was never really my strong suit, Cynthia. I feel That's like that all went right. well. Let's just go. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and make sure the make sure the sewer entrance is all clear out. All right, everybody, we're suiting out. They all just look at you <laughs> expectantly and oh, oh no, I wasn't. Uh, no, I wasn't telling that to like everybody. Oh, I was telling gotcha. That to, like, like, it, like you weren't addressing the room. Apex, like, no. I'm going. I'm Goodbye. looking at Cynthia and Apex. Like it's time to go. I'm not going. Cynthia. Goodbye, everybody. Like the end of a Dick Van Dyke show. Cynthia does the like arms out, waving forward like shoo shoo. Please, dear God, shoo. Get the fuck out. Oh, yep. Right. Uh -huh. yep. Yep. I, I, I'm all ready. And up. we're I'm going. Over. Thank I'm you, anything. gentlemen. Louise all just right. waves again to that guy as they walk out. Um, but I'm thirsty, and it's a long road, well, and I'm being shoved out. It. <laughs> <laughs> just shoves him out. <laughs> Apex, if you need water, I got some. Don't worry about it. Uh, the man gives you a very dire look as as you close the door behind you. And you, I assume, are heading back to the sewer entrance? Yes. Yes. All right. I'll just say, if you're trying to make your way out of Westport, let me just see if anything goes wrong. Please, no. Come on, everything catastrophic. No. <laughs> no. A super mutant! No. no. <laughs> Kirk and Pepper return. Uh, and suddenly the Latin, I got lost. Chaos. the Latin choir starts up. Sephir <laughs> Roach! Uh, no. Um, You're not you, that lucky. You make your way out of the sewers if in fact that is your plan seems Indeed. like it yeah yeah we're we heading back to the car we aren't mm -hmm. we aren't starting the people's revolution so we're we'll be back for that later mm -hmm. man I, try, I tried my best to pitch my ideas for revolution i no. like the idea of digging underneath the prison old style like you i know. do too but i super don't want to have another arena situation right after the arena situation i like the idea of starting a grassroots political movement felt very oh. timely. six months later we'll have toby free yeah he'll be it takes time either that or we just go assassinate the mayor what's the worst that could happen and now we're in the sewers not doing any of those plans well i'll say you make your way out of the sewers unabated um hooray you loop around back to where uh, you stashed your car previously, and it is still there and undisturbed. And so. So we're heading to the archers then. That sounds about right. Not too much. Unless anyone else here. has a better idea. Eh, mayhem, but you know, don't want to cause issues. Yeah, but, hopefully Bruno will get well hopefully Bruno will go ahead and get that message out. I liked him. He's nice. Oh man. Honestly, I get where he's coming from. Well, we'll just have to do everything we can to make sure the peace is kept from here on. 
Um, I don't know about y'all, but I'm sort of tempted to take the road less traveled back to the archers. Hey, you're the driver. All right. About what time of day is it, Connor? Well, we went in there at night, so it'd probably be the evening still, right? Yeah, it would be at this point. I'd say you spent... Oh, my God, we left Dave in the sewers. <laughs> oh, God, Dave! <laughs> nah, he's, he's like a quiet... Him. Hello? He's a quiet little puppy. We're, we're, we're leaving <laughs> Dave on the poker table as collateral. <laughs> we, uh, we, guys, left him, we left him in the, we left him in the road. We left him in the roach nap room. It's kind of stinky <gasps> in here. He went to the bathroom and when we came out, we were just gone. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, man. He's like, he's like he's like our little shadow, like a little puppy. He just follows. First, Mr. Dalliard, now this. Well, yeah, he's our new Mr. Dalliard. Except not as useful. And Mr. probably Dave smarter. Yard. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he sorry, can't, I mean, he does, he doesn't have a... How many bullets can you take, Alv? Uh, how many bullets can you take, Dave? Uh, I never checked. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's find out. No. <laughs> da -da -da -da. <laughs> Cynthia, like, wraps her arms around Dave. No, you leave him alone. <laughs> he is a precious bean. He's a precious bean, and he made me, so we're best friends. <laughs> All right, so everyone loads into the car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Including Dave. Yes, Dave Including is Dave. also Dave is there. Dave, no, Dave who is totally there. Just shove and him. has been the whole time. Absolutely. Nobody forgot about him. <laughs> I didn't. I figured he was I didn't gonna forget. Was, He's quiet. I was quiet. He's quiet. I, obvi I obviously didn't. I mentioned that we forgot him. <laughs> Oh my god. God help us all, huh? Anyway. So, what route would you like to take to get to the archers? I want to uncover so much of this map so bad, so I really want to take just a straight, like, hard yeah, diagonal. Big spiral. Yeah. You want you want to go right or you gonna you wanna go now the question is, is there the question is, is there a road there? <laughs> I'm just gonna do donuts all over the map to fill out every black square. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Look out everyone else, Dave's there's like a new camera. Throwing up town. everywhere. <laughs> Poor child. Alright, so I guess we're driving in a diagonal toward the Scott Joplin house through the darkness. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. there's a road. It looks like there's a road. Look at that. Look at that little squiggle line under Westport. Oh, yeah. That looks like oh, a yeah. road. Oh yeah, a little squiggle. Yeah, little... see, see, oh, yeah. road. If... That is a road. I, I mean, she's got you there. There is a squiggle right there. There is a squiggle. That's a squiggle. If that's the yeah, way that's it's going to be, then let's oh, go no. ahead and get you on the road. Death okay, class. when you started saying that, it made me really concerned because you always well, say it in a way that's like, Caitlin, you're fucked. He's gonna roll Bye. Stuff, you know. You know Damn. what it is. You yeah, know, he's gonna kick around the math rock, see what happens. I don't know <gasps> how that's my problem. <gasps> <laughs> so, as you start up the car, you go to the road less traveled. Would you You're... ask what my questions, comments, or concerns are? This will be one. <laughs> As you drive off into oh. the darkness of night. Speak your manager, Connor. I think this is where we're going to go ahead and take a break. Hot damn! All we'll right. be back after these messages and my drink. Oh, God. <laughs> yep, bathroom, snack, drink, whatever. Gotcha. Oh, I man. have pumpkin scones and they I'm are going this way. We've got a case of the sillies tonight. Apparently. Oh my god. I mean, I did eat literally a tray of cookies. That Ugh. is also oh. true. I've had a lot of sugar, Connor. Mm -hmm. Like a, a lot. I've had a lot of sugar and I had it right before we went live. So... <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Ooh. Hi, chat. What? Sorry. No, I forgot about a landmark, actually. <gasps> oh my god, what did you forget? No, I didn't forget about nothing. I just realized the road that you're on. Oh, 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 oh. Like, what is there underneath the black squares that we have never yes. seen through? Yes. 
That makes sense. That, that, oh, oh excuse me, that tracks. Indeed. Uh, you know what would be awesome right now? What's that? Spaghetti with garlic bread. God, that does sound quite <laughs> scrumptious. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is like snack o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like super, I'm still sugar powered and um, it's it's like that time of night where if you didn't eat enough during the day, now you're thinking about everything that you could be having, but you don't have any of those things available. So then you're like, oh man, what can I eat that was within my proximity? And then you just end up eating a bunch of bullshit that isn't that thing at all. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, Ugh, but but spaghetti with like the meaty sauce. I fucking love spaghetti. Marinara. Ugh, oh, me too. Ugh, oh, I made a lasagna the other week and it was good. No veggies, just meat and way too much cheese. It was perfect. Spaghetti bolognese with garlic bread? Hell yeah. I am about that life. By the way, the Westport Plaza in real life is actually quite a nice lookout. Is it? Uh huh. Westport Plaza. It's got a big old convention center. It's got like a little German style villa. Uh, it's I got. I feel like I've been there. I wouldn't be shocked if you if you. I think one of the. I think Anime St. Louis took place at Westport Plaza one oh year. Oh my, yes. I've absolutely been there then. I've been to Anime St. Louis multiple times. Yeah. You you were probably there then. Yeah. Yep. But, in, but in slave of labor Anime now. St. Louis, it was oh. slave labor St. Louis. It's a wow, different convention. Things have, different things convention. have changed. They certainly have. Now those times, they are a change. <laughs> oh, God. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Also, making some chili. Mm. Ooh, chili mm. sounds Delete. good. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm just talking about every food that I want. Blueberry muffins, too? Why? Oh, Why man. are you doing this to me? Wait, what wait, have wait. I done to earn your ire this day? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. I'm just a humble man. Just a little guy. <laughs> I'm just a little guy. I'm just a silly little guy. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> what? Sorry. Uh, what? Got a mustache in my mouth. Connor. What? You know that reverse fart sound that you have? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I know the one. <laughs> I had a full on discussion with someone about that sound. Um because of oh I can't, I can't even like put real thought to it because it it gives me the experience that like my tendons have melted <laughs> and then I can no longer stay what? upright. <laughs> I like can't think about it because it makes no, me like that's oh, just a normal thing to say. It just gives me a feeling like my like my tendons like, melted. Like my tendons are you melted. Know? Yeah, and yeah. then you know you know those like string toys that you like you have the string toy and the string is like really taut. And then when you press the button on the bottom, it just like falls into nothingness. That's what I feel like when I hear that sound. Oh, I'm like thinking about it. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, it's so it terrible. <laughs> I am going to be real with you, Caitlin. Yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, so you're in a time loop speaking <laughs> nonsense. We did the longest Midwestern goodbye in the post-apocalypse I think we've ever done. Someone's... So some Johnny one guy is going to talk about that. You, you don't even know what I'm talking about. And the, and Connor doesn't know what you're do talking about. How you not know? I, I, you I, explain it as you, you want to know what it feels like you're okay, transcending while being spaghettified in a black no, hole. That's what it sounds like, like you're talking about. Okay, Z Zinlita's got it. Caitlyn just gmod ragdolls. That's what happens. <laughs> I'm going to give it to you. You know. Fuck it. I'm going to write it on the board. I'm, you, you, look, I'm giving you it's a on the board. Day. I'm, look, I, 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 I don't, am tired. I don't, I am like, punch I drunk. Don't. 
I, I don't you hate the sound. No. I don't hate the sound of it. I just don't. My body doesn't know what to do with hearing it because it's trying to rationalize what it does. But my like I... bodies aren't capable of that. So then my tendons feel like they're just melting. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. Okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I fought with me waking up really early in the morning yeah. and doing all this stuff and whatnot. I thought I was going to have the midnight sillies. And yeah. I just wasn't going to make sense at all of this episode. Well, However. How, well, are you, what are you trying to say here, Rabbit? Nothing. I'm saying you're a pretty good friend and whatnot, but none of us can really go ahead and really, sh I don't know what you're talking about. I don't I'm understand what to. you're saying. I'm trying to understand what you're talking about. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be a good friend. I'm putting forth the effort. Where's the, oh, what is it called? String toy that collapses. Yeah, I know. Look I know up. what you're talking about. Yeah, string so, toy so you that understand. collapses. Yeah, it's yeah, string toy I know that what you're collapses. About. I'm just saying my tendons mounted. I'm like, I wouldn't have described it like that. That's where my wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it in the um string toy. I'm gonna put it in the chat on this on Discord. I'll I'll put it in the unexpectables chat mm -hmm. uh, like they're um the okay. gate the main gateway one so that people understand mm -hmm. they can see it so and they, they can know how it. i feel they're gonna get it when they look at this they're gonna be like ah that's it yeah okay i, I understand i know what you're <laughs> talking about I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah 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 okay <sighs> here you go that's me that's me when i hear the sound <laughs> <laughs> what sound <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that is one of the most ominous ways to explain that I have well, ever heard. But it. <laughs> if Wait, you use what the do you term, mean what it is? if you Wait. use anything about the term of your flesh and it melting to describe something other than you know having your flesh melted, I think that's a little ominous. I think I played it more to having her spinal cord suddenly ripped out of her body. Hang on. Yeah, what? like the Yeah, predator. that one's pretty bad, too. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, <laughs> hang on, hang on. I'll, I'll put one of it standing in the chat, because people are like, I don't know what the fuck that is. It's a giraffe. Look, see, there it is. <laughs> it's a giraffe. I'll be oh. honest, the further this conversation <laughs> goes, the less I understand, but I love it. Right, yeah, absolutely. I'm, you know what? I'm here for, I should have made popcorn for this. Like, this is just good. Also, I love that. <laughs> oh, that's Dream wonderful. Toy. That's a strange, oh. such a strange effect for a fart sound to have on you. I don't. Well, okay. Honestly, so yeah. I also, uh, uh, just thinking about it, bleh. <sighs> I have the same thing that happens when I, when I like hear about a tendon being cut. Oh. God, that is oh, the man, worst. So, so, oh. you, so, so, so you equate... Pet cemetery. Oh, you're I talking about the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, that'll do it. So, yeah, I so, get the heebie-jeebies. There you are. The gotcha. Now, now I'm up to speed. Well, no, it's I, after that. How else was I going to explain it? Because it is like that. I don't you, know, it feels but like you... your tendons melt. I think I like it's weirder that good. you explain, like, you know that fart reverb? Yeah, I relate it to, like, bodily torture. <laughs> but it's, it's not like... That's my hostel. Okay, I don't get I don't get pins and needles though. It's literally just only feels like my tendons have melted out of my body. Oh my God. I'm gonna go get a drink. So this is so interesting. I, I I need to make a Lovecraftian horror film just based on how you describe your react to things. I can think. we well, call it no no Lanny Lanny? Can we call it reverb? <laughs> oh, now that's just unkind. <laughs> Make a it's not a kind. It's the rabbit. premise of, the, of what we're talking about. A rabbit, All right, rabbit. Connor. Rabbit. Yes. I, yes. Don't, remember what? how you told? Sorry. Go. You go ahead, Caleb. No, no, no. Go, go. I said, rabbit. Remember how we talked about how like you helped design like haunted houses and shit? <laughs> yeah. 
You want to make a haunted house for Caitlyn that's just nothing but fart noises the entire time? What? Oh my god, it's going to be like South Park, like uh, Dan, you enter the <laughs> chamber of farts? <laughs> oh my, oh my god. There's okay. no, no way, Caitlyn, there's no danger here. Connor, just, just because... Instead of, instead, of, instead of drawing all those little eyes, Rabbit, they're all little buttholes. Yeah, no, oh, no! My god! god. You can't draw. Some just a room no, filled with sphincters? Slightly, slightly puckered sphincters. Slightly some puckered. Of them, some of them have a little tube in them, and so when you pass what? them, they scare you uh, by blowing a little puff of air out. Ew, ew, ew. Oh, Sarah, that's <laughs> and, so much and, worse. And some of them suck air in. <laughs> no, oh, my God. Oh, like, you gotta watch out for those. You gotta like, watch no. out for those. <laughs> I... Oh my god, I love this so okay, much. Okay, Connor, just because, Let's like... Let's get to work on it immediately. Fuck it. I, I wasn't so into the sphincters now, but now... Now you've Now you're up. knee deep in sphincter. And, and, um, I'm knee deep oh, in... Oh, all in on levels. sphincter. All in. Put it all on sphincter. It's gonna be the best new maze at fucking Universal. Connor, I just, because I feel like I've talked about it so much that maybe now I'm desensitized, will you play the reverse part, Sam? Absolutely. <laughs> I've never heard you more dedicated in my life. Here's one, just for you, to, to finish to finish off this... Uh, Re reverse this, reverb farts in a This minor. chapter of, of Gateway. Okay, great. Here we go. So ominous. Oh! Why does that make me laugh like a child? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. I immediately. <laughs> Put it all on sphincter! Just Ladies and gentlemen. And, just me and the you... lady all the poker chipped of dumb dim of dumb hats we kicked out the door. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you won't find this on any other tabletop role-playing game live stream. You Guaranteed. won't. Only right here, Saturdays, hey. on twitch.tv slash the Unexpectables. <laughs> a thousand a years, a, a thousand years, Gateway. Wait, what, right here. I like I needed to fetch the, the smelling salts. Only I, here I, can you get the inception of Butthole Land. I literally fell to the floor. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> literally, um, um, like, Connor, went I think straight I down. Like, Connor, Maybe you should be standing when that happens. I think it is called Sphincter Springs. I think that's what it's going to be called. Wait, Sphincter Springs. I, Sphincter I don't stand Sphincters! Sphincters! Would you want your cat whistle now, Connor, to hurt us back into place? On that note, are we ready to get uh... back into Gateway? Yeah. yeah, that's oh we were doing that, yes, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I need like sorry, a Austin. I need like Austin. a button on here that's like wrap it up. As I said, just ah, noise. shut up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that will that will incapacitate me every time, so yes. <sighs> Alright. Okay. Then let's All get right. back into it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm just still I'm, thinking about it. I'm sorry. I've got, <laughs> so the build up. Well, forgive me, forgive me, Connor. I'm a humble idiot. <laughs> you are fine. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and place this uh -huh. right here, so I know <sighs> whereabouts you are. Um, Westport, Westport Plaza. I see a little silhouette of a port. It's got a port. It's got a port. Pork, up, pork, up, pork, 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 <laughs> pork, pork, pork. Ow! <laughs> and so you set off. You drive down the road, away from Westport Plaza.
right. And the Once first again, leg. I my head out the window. Mm hmm. It, the cool night breeze um, blows through the eye holes uh, of your mask. And for this leg of your journey, you are undisturbed. Uh, and just let me know what direction you would like to continue driving. <clears throat> let me see, let me see. Uh, is it the... <clears throat> is it select that we can ping? That? Uh, you can you can grab the ruler tool and you can just say you'd like to go oh, down oh, here oh, that's or right, that's here. Right, that's here. Right. Eh. So, like, my thought was that way. Okay. If there's a road to support it. Because I can't see the path. That's totally fine. Um, therefore, I will reveal. You take another uh, couple of minutes driving forward, and you discover something. Oh. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. I like that. That is dark. Dark park. It is it is dark. It's dark park. Forest park. You drive through a series of old red brick houses. And down uh, to the south of you, you see next to a set of old buildings is what looks like it could have once nice uh, been a nice area. You see dead brown trees that are adorned in uh, neat fashion along the side of the road. Um sort of an old white stony area um while not much life is is flourishing in it now uh you do see a sign as you pass by that says forest park does Cynthia wait was Cynthia around this area I forget <clears throat> before because she did remember Ar some things. Around this area, what, like, in the in before, the before time? times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the long, long ago. Make yeah, yeah, yeah. a... Uh, make a wits roll, just to try and recall anything about this area. Eleven. <laughs> yeah, this particular area uh, of the greater St. Louis area was home to... A lot of different uh, tourist attractions, um, a lot of old historical sites. Uh, anything, <clears throat> excuse me, anything that would be worth stopping in to look at or not really? Nowadays, you're not sure. You do, however, remember there being a zoo here. Uh, oh, Oh. How fun, mutant animals. Maybe. But will they have survived in the cage? Giraffes are still giraffes. If you say that out loud, Apex is immediately interested, but you have not said something out loud, so he is just sitting there with his head out the window, wondering. Uh... Old historic homes... Uh, <clears throat> you recall there might have been some museums as well. Oh, <clears throat> a museum, eh? <clears throat> Several museums, actually. Any that would be things that would be helpful tool-wise for us? Um, no, probably not. More like art museums. Oh, 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 okay, okay. 
Yeah. Um, okay. Then I think it's something that Cynthia will note mentally, but not bring up so that we don't get sidetracked. Oh, uh, actually, I can also oh, tell you. Just kidding. Uh, interesting, <clears throat> interesting bit of lore. It has to do with uh, haha the 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 song for ga- the theme song for Gateway. Uh, oh. The World's Fair Pavilion is also located in Forest Park. Oh, cool! Yeah, where the first That's... ever World's Fair took place. Ah. Damn! Wow. Now, now we have lore, so like we should go visit the zoo. Oh my god! In the daylight, maybe. Yeah, in in the daytime but where we can see. And all the animals sneak. stay like hidden in their <clears throat> shelters because of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yes, they buddy. Have a, they, have a, they have an animal vault. Please say that in a person's <laughs> voice. It's more fun. Then all the animals stay in their shelter because of the sun. Apex, we don't want to do a mutant animal or whatever the fuck they had here. Mm. Yep. Just keeps driving. Doesn't let anyone stop her. Drink your orange juice. Can you get the straw through the thing? Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 Eat your peas, Apex. I don't wanna. <laughs> At least he said, then. eat them. <laughs> why, why is Apex our child now? <laughs> when was he not our child? I don't know. <laughs> when, he started, when he started murdering people to protect you, probably. Yeah, well, probably. Look, he said no pickles, okay? Look, 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 it all started when Apex T posed through a cage, and the rest is history. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're right. Oh. So. Onward. Where would you like to go from here? Uh, we're we're beelining for the Scott Joplin house, correct? Uh, you that, are. You're driving. That that you're driving. I was telling Connor that that might be the direction we're going because like that was sounded like, but okay. no. It, it, you, you're driving. You pick where the arrow goes. Uh. All right, then I, I would say <laughs> the arch it is. <laughs> so we'll we'll oh, be taking the uh, the the path. <clears throat> it looks like right. there's a road there, so probably that direction. So long as we're unhindered. All righty. Uh, I'm gonna go plug up my headphones real quick. Eh. Nope. Okay. Not allowed. So, not allowed. Darn. Nope. You're not Sorry, allowed buddy. to hear us. So yeah. you're. Driving down here-ish? Yep. Hopefully there's a road there. Uh. S- yes. Yes, there is a road here. The road lead leads down. I'm basically just hand-waving roads-ish. Oh, okay. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. Um, as you drive down, you actually discover something else. Oh, God. As often that... Oh. <gasps> Darkness. It's the void. Oh, nuts. As off in the distance, you spot another interesting sight. Is it or, darkness? Um, oh, it's it is coming. not darkness, it's although it is dark. All that I see, what, absolute What time despair. is it by the time we absolute get to this? Absolute horror. I cannot live. I cannot um, die. You're in your car, so you're moving pretty fast, and oh my... Uh, because we left at like nine something, right? Like nine. Yeah, nine ish. I'd say it'd be approaching ten at this point. Okay. 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 And as you, <laughs> yep. Sure enough, you what? drive by, and you see. God, I gotta delete so many tabs. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh. Funny tabs. Again. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it is coming indeed. Um, You drive by and you notice off in the distance Come on. There we go. Just past Forest Park. Uh, a large uh, ruined on the outside but still intact looking structure 
The first thing you see is a large copper domed building. And okay. off in the distance, you see another large structure. It appears to be sort of almost yo-yo shaped structure. Okay. Um, that is standing just past and down a south a little bit from where you went. A yo-yo on its side or a yo-yo standing up? A yo-yo on its side. Is it a stadium? It is not. Oh. The. Oh. As you see a sign passing by, you see St. Louis Science Center. Oh, we got so many places oh. to take field trips to. This will be perfect for Apex. Learn. <laughs> Aspiring young minds. Yeah. In the daytime. And Cynthia keeps driving. <laughs> <laughs> we have science centers at home. Apex, Apex's mom or dad probably would have known about that place, so he probably would actually look at it somewhat intrigued. Hmm. Go ahead and make a uh, wits roll. Wits. wits. SF9. Nine? You see, it's very faint. But you do see small red lights piercing the darkness that are surrounding the science center at night. And also, you know, that uh, it's very easy to spot in the darkness that the large yo-yo-like structure is lit up. Damn. It, it is what? It is particularly uh, incandescent at this time of night as the entire side of it is lit with floodlights. Huh. In there. Looks like it. My mom and, and dad told me about that place. Did they now? Hmm. What'd they have to say about it? Just that they had... I don't know how much I can make up here without going into anything that I don't have. Uh, what would my parents have said about the place? <laughs> what would your parents have said about the <clears throat> St. Louis Science Center? They probably would have said... Hmm. They said how, old, how old are your parents again? Uh, probably in their mid 50s early 60s at okay. this point <laughs> they probably would have actually you would have heard the heard them over talking uh with each other uh that there was something odd about it just that there was something odd about the place I was How? Young. I don't really recall. I was young when they were talking about it, but they mentioned it. Hmm. Think it's something we could drive by and check out, or? With all those lights, it looks like it could be dangerous. Most things here are dangerous. Fair. Until they aren't. Yeah, I'm sure we can make a day trip out of it. Of, of it bleh, day trip of it at some point. Right. We should probably focus that. on getting to the archers first. Right. <clears throat> and a keeps driving. Okay. Lit up dome in the distance as you drive past the science center. And you make it to familiar lands at last. 
Woo! <clears throat> Apex runs out to pee. Oh, yeah. That's mine. <clears throat> what? I own this now. <laughs> he just pees on the this is mine. Apex. I just want to imagine he pees on the arch. She's like, mine now. Oh, God. Use your now stream of justice. to the Apex. <laughs> Use your stream of justice this is to put Apex out Apex Town. This is now the Archpex. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on, buddy. <laughs> buddy. <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Peas. Peas. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> but why, though? <laughs> it's a little too dumb to be a dad joke, and that's why I'm okay with it. Oh, oh gosh. God. I like it. Apex gets out to pee. His, uh... Potty time goes unabated as good. you are now in familiar territory, at least somewhat. You pull up to the uh, you pull up to the outer gates of the outer grounds and are met with some confusion and uh, worry as the headlights of your vehicle illuminate the area directly uh, and they've these people have probably not seen a moving vehicle for some time. Uh, and you see the telltale red glowing lights of magcasters being lit up. Ooh. <laughs> so they will stop the car and turn off the light. I am still peeing. <laughs> no, I got out. I uh. I am peeing on a nearby rock or tree or shrub. Louise, being Louise, will just happily hop out of the car, jump onto yeah. the front hood, and just sort of sit cross-legged and just be like, I'm gonna wait. I, uh, I'll get out of the car and also lean up against it and regard the guys with a, with a wave. And also, the telltale sign of, there's nothing to kill you in my hands. Please don't shoot me with your crazy, really cool space gun. What was seeing, the name of the... <clears throat> Never mind. Go ahead. Seeing as how you're not making yourselves threatening, uh, they they relax a bit, a little bit, and they slow their roll, but they still have their weapons trained on the four of you. And one of them barks out, "Identify yourselves." Oh, uh, we're the Runaways. Uh, I'm uh, Alvin Bronson. Uh, and, Cynthia, uh, Louise. I'm peeing. Apex. As Apex. Uh, what business do you have here? Uh, you guy sent uh, Bryce Goddard not to help us out. Irina, uh, we came back to uh, talk probably, to y'all. Yeah, here to probably talk some more with uh, Baker. They look to each other. You you see someone holding like a, a small black box on their shoulder, and they they talk into it. They wait for a moment, and then they motion to everybody to lower their weapons, and they uh the the one who appears to be taking charge uh, up nods to you, Cynthia, and says, "Come on through." Can the car come? Sounds good. <clears throat> yeah, there's plenty of room here. Nice. She'll jumps back in the car. Turn the car back on and drive with whoever is in it. I will shake it off and hop back in the car. <laughs> ah! There you as, go. Shake it off, buddy. As they open the gates for you, you notice uh, quite a few people are, are looking interestedly at uh, your vehicle as you drive on through. But you are now... Firmly within the arch grounds. And there's got to be a better song to play here. Are you sure about that? No. <laughs> well. <laughs> March. Of the well. Oh, yes. Well, we have to fight the clown ghouls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, uh-uh. Mm, no. Oh, super mutant no. clowns! Mm, 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 uh, mm. Like nope. Clowns. That's See, a hard pass. Sarah and I are almost in here. Honk! <laughs> Why aren't you laughing? Oh my god, Kurt <laughs> but a clown. Smile! <laughs> Stop yelling at me, Mr. Cloud! <laughs> I have many fears, and you are one of them! I have many fears, uh... you're most of them. <laughs> you... Thank you! That delight and amuses me! You step into the arch grounds, where you are greeted by yet more people who come to your sides. Um... They, uh, there's about four of them that flank the four of you, and they say, We've been expecting you. The expedition leader's waiting in his office. Oh, fantastic. A bit of a late night for him, ain't it? The expedition leader has a lot of, uh, responsibilities. Yeah, fair enough. And if he is asleep, we can wake him up. Poor fella. Now well, let's see if he's up. As Lily. Alright. You are dragged back to the old courthouse. Dragged? Well, not dragged. Dragged? <laughs> Escorted. You are escorted back to the old uh, What? There you house. go. <laughs> Nobody escorts the apex. Oh my god. Aha, uh -huh, yes, the escort pex. Uh, where you are greeted with the very familiar uh, stone floors um, high domed ceiling of this of this ancient, ancient courthouse. Uh, at this point, and there's gotta be another. Hang on, what, what's this? <laughs> like, oh, okay. Oh, this. <laughs> no, I'm so tired of this track. I'm gonna turn on trap. Drop the base. This works, I think. Works for me. It works until it doesn't. Sure. As you make your way into this uh, less busy than you've seen it previously, but still quite busy. Um, building that where people in much the same uniforms go in and out. Um, you are led up old wooden steps uh, and you are led to a familiar office where um, you see uh, once again expedition leader Baker is leaned back in his chair just with his head tilted to upwards and let me go ahead and Show that to you again. Hang on. Wait. Ah, yes, that handsome devil. Thinking of Bach or Baker? They're both. But Bach has those amazing green eyes that just stare into your soul. And boss yeah, man. Yeah, something, something like that. <laughs> and boss man. And boss With man. No eyes. Um, can't tell. <laughs> and Don Slick, so full of life. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's on. Hiding. Your name is Don Slick, and some man in a skull mask killed the hell out of you. While you're searching, does Expedition Leader Baker look... With his head tilted back, does he look happy to see us? Does he look... He... Roll a uh, wits check, just to gauge his... Okay. Can we all do that? Yeah, you can all do that if you'd like. Yay! Eleven. First roll of the evening. What? Eight. Let's go, babe. 
Ten. Uh, Cynthia, Louise, and Apex. He looks like he's sleeping. Oh. I mean, okay, we do this tomorrow. He, he's all up. tuckered out. We could go back to the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> he says in his head, not knowing that a zoo actually exists. <laughs> uh huh, because Cynthia purposefully didn't tell him because she knew he'd do that. Yes. <laughs> we should go somewhere else, maybe animal yeah. related. <laughs> Are those, guys who let us, are those guys who let us in still here? Uh, they they are sort of sitting at the back of the room, just waiting for whatever happen, whatever will happen to happen. Uh, sort of fellas, mind if we just take the night, let him sleep for once? I have a feeling filling him in on everything is going to take some time. Yeah, I don't mind tunkering down for the night and... Picking this up in the morning. Yeah, it's proof of five for me. <laughs> uh, make a charm roll. Me? Yeah. I've never met this guy before, right? I don't think so. Awesome. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Let's see if they'll let their boss sleep. <laughs> yeah. They, they, their serious militaristic demeanor sort of softens a bit, and they. Give you give you a sigh and a little smile, and he says, "Come on, we'll bother him in the morning." Thanks. Where you know where you stayed there? last time, right? Oh, right. Um, where was that? We slept here. Yeah, I think so. We stayed right? in town. We I thought we stayed in town for a night because then we went and got yeah, pizza yeah. and stuff. Yeah, we slept with the arches and whatnot. Yeah. Did we? I, I thought, whatever whatever we did before. Yeah, sir. I don't quite remember. It was a while ago. I can't say I remember, so if you wouldn't mind leading the way. We slept somewhere on site. I remember that much. We can find... Teo Cassidy and all that. We can find somewhere for you to stay. I appreciate it. And they will follow to wherever there is a place to hunker down. You see him just ever so slowly close the door and turn on the nightlight. Aw. Does he got his blankie? Okay. Sleep tight, boss. <laughs> Play Slayer. <laughs> No! No! <laughs> the only thing they fear is you. Um, they'll lead you off to just sort of a a break area that that some people use to just take a load off. Uh, you see a couple of archers in there. You see, um, some people playing caravan. Off in the distance, you see a, a woman who is just laying down with her uh, helmet on the floor and her arms tucked behind her head, having a little nap as well. And you can sleep here for the time being. No one will bother you. We'll let the expedition leader know first thing in the morning that you're here. All right. Thank y'all. Are you uh, fellows on the night duty? It's our shift, yeah. Mind if I pull your ear for a while? Uh, they're the only ones that sleep. Okay. Sure. Have fun, Cynthia. Yeah, you yeah, have fun glad him. I don't sleep, I dream. <laughs> Cynthia just like smiles cutely like <laughs> you are still a child sometimes. <laughs> <sighs> really? Look, what a day. Life. Oh my god, you said it. Oh <laughs> you said it, Louise. Oh my god. Did you see the uh, did you see the tension in the air back in Westport? I could have punched that I could have punched the air in that bar in the face. <laughs> uh, I feel like I almost did. 
But that that guy was being a jerk, so. <sighs> I don't blame him. He's been he's been dealt a rough hand, and he's just trying to make the best of everything he can. So. You're taking the long way around to what could be a fairly easy solution. Yeah, that's what that's the thing with some people. Sometimes they pick. Sometimes they just go ahead and stumble around until they trip over a a branch or something. Then they find out what they've been looking for the whole time. Well, I get it from their perspective. They worked hard at this, and I I hate to shake it up more. I just I mean, I wish we could have just gone and got Toby, but well, they got a lot riding on this. Well, I hate that's... the idea of leaving him there. Oh, well, me too. If he's friends with the mayor, maybe they're, I don't know, giving him the lighter treatment. Well, that's the thing about playing sometimes. Sometimes plan A and B fall flat, so you gotta rely on plan C, D, E, or even H sometimes. We'll go ahead and get it soft. Yeah. These places, if these places aren't gonna go up in cinders just because we decided to go ahead and just settle up one tab. That's for damn certain. I'll tell y'all that much right now. Hmm. So you said there's just like one woman in this room with us? This is like a group there's there? there's like someone who's there's like a man who's smoking, a woman who's taking a nap, and then uh, someone else who looks like he's just cleaning his weapon. No, I'll just uh, find an empty bunk or whatever and stick my backpack on it with Phil. It's yeah, it's just good for me. It's just a big room with benches. There's not really much going on in here. And uh, you, Cynthia, have the man's ear that you asked for. Uh, is he ca like the man in charge at this point or just one of the regular guards? Uh, he is just one of the regular guards. He doesn't appear to be in charge of anything other than this. He appears to just be making his rounds and, and doing things that he was asked of. Um, okay. Okay, that's fine. She'll uh, just join him on making his rounds then. Kind of also trying to remember where everything is since it's been a minute since they've been here. Mm -hmm. You make your way around the arch grounds, which are fairly well lit. Uh, spotlights and floodlights sort of sway from side to side every, every now and again. A gentle breeze wafts through your synthetic hair coming from the Mississippi River. And the what is what is left of the arch, one of the man-made wonders of the world, remains. And did did the archers that came to help us are they still healing back in Riverside? They are, yes. They haven't they haven't okay. come back yet. Your uh, men who came to help are still resting up, but I'm sure they'll be back soon. Oh, yes, I heard that some people were were sent up to Riverside for something big. I'm surprised he even did it. But it's good to know that they're safe. Yeah, well, there was uh, quite a bit at stake at the time. And they came in more than handy. Well, they're good people. They are. Good fighters, too. <laughs> How have things been around here, with the archers and everything? Well, expedition leaders starting to think that maybe our goal is in sight. Your goal? We're, well, yes, there's... The our hold on these grounds is tenuous, but it's still ours by right and by conquest. 
but... But Soon, the expedition leader is saying that all of our hard work will be worth it. That we'll finally have the paradise that we've been fighting so hard for. Well, if we can get a couple other moving parts put together, I don't see why that isn't possible to have some kind of utopia or normalcy, really. Hmm. Something like it was in the old days. Not to say that it was perfect back then, either. It'll at least be better than it is now. That we can agree on. I think. <laughs> I'm glad we do. Not everybody agreed on our vision. And, well, we had to do some things that we rather wouldn't have happened. Oh, none of that's really required anymore, right? You have your hold, and now it's just settling, right? Making sure you can defend it proper? That's the tricky part. We don't... We've got a good operation going on here, but we don't have as many members as we used to. And Any reason for that? Well, I think people are intimidated by us, by our technology, by our training. Some don't necessarily agree with what we're doing here. I guess on some level I understand that, but... They don't understand that this is for the good of everything. Mm, well, society is a difficult thing. Everyone's got to agree on the the idea of what it means to be a society. And after the war and the bombs, it, that fell apart. Not to us. We still know what society can be. What does the perfect society look like to you? Uh, and I'm sorry, what was your name? Uh, Gomez. Gomez. Uh, Cynthia, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Well, I guess the perfect society would be one that doesn't need to fight each other for survival. Well, I hate to say it, but even in the old world, that didn't happen either. I Maybe it'll be it different. Though. Sometimes. We may never have what they had before the war. But maybe we could have something different. Maybe it'll be better. If everyone can agree and work together towards that common goal, I don't see why not. That's the tricky part. You make it sound so ominous. There's a lot of pushback from all sides. All right. So what's the next steps? Or is that a conversation for Expedition Leader Baker? I think that would be a conversation best left to the Expedition Leader. 
I understand. <sighs> and I'd only have to catch up my friends as well. If I'm the only one getting filled in with information. I just... I get restless. I'm not being able to sleep. Uh, I process everything pretty much immediately. So I have no need of sleep to recover my body or, or process my memories. But it makes me a little restless when the world gets quiet. <laughs> I can't even imagine. I couldn't either until it happened. <sighs> well, I don't want to take you away from your work. Uh, but is there anything I can do while I'm awake for the rest of the evening? I think as long as you stay put, we'll all feel a bit... This, this will all go a bit easier. Ah. So, wait in the room and play cards till dawn. Unless you want to join me for the rest of my rounds. That sounds infinitely more interesting. Well, you haven't done any rounds, then. <laughs> Can't say I have. Well, not in about 200 years. Hmm. And to you two... Patrol the grounds. Obviously, nothing bothers you while you're making your rounds. You didn't learn anything. You make good conversation with the with with Gomez and the other two that he's with. Uh, and what are their names? Gomez, Charles, and Johnson. Got it. Would you say we become chums? I'd I'd say that that occupying his evening until his shift ends is uh you've you've gotten on their good side. Chummy acquaintances. Uh also Look, you've just to one chum. See if you've learned anything. Go ahead and make a yeah. charm roll. Do I still wait? This is the first time you met them. Yes, okay, great. Uh, Ten. What what would you like to learn? Mm, what a great question. Everything. With I guess we kind of know things about the archers, right? Mm-hmm. What would mm, about the archers maybe just like pieces of information that they might not otherwise say but since it's like the night shift things could slip out of their mouth <laughs> if that makes sense <laughs> pertaining to just um their intel of the world like she'd probably also ask about if they've heard of a mega giant uh, super mutant if any of the slaves from the arena had come through um uh d d d d how they probably asking about patrols and whatnot too um he wouldn't tell you certain things about their patrols he he just keep it general yeah he 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 knows that you're not like going to sell out their information or at least he, right. he, be he believes as much. He, he knows your allies of the archers, at least for now. Um, he would tell you that slaves did come to the arch, but they were turned away. Oh, 
the bomb collars on their necks were deemed too dangerous to be dealt with, really. Aww. So they were just they were they were told to find somewhere else. Oh, poor babies. Um, you would also learn that uh, the reason there's quite a lot of pressure on the archers right now is because the expedition leader feels as though something bad is coming. He hasn't elaborated. Okay. He hasn't elaborated, but he's uh, a bit more enthusiastic about getting the ball rolling with his plan. Okay. 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 Uh, and with finishing that round, Cynthia will return to the break room and probably play cards or whatever with whoever's in there and get to know more people. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> uh, with the rest of you, what were you doing in the meantime? Probably gonna end up sleeping at some point, but Bastion's gonna spend some time drawing. No. Alright. You add yet another leg to the comic book adventures of the Wasteland Wild Man. And the Runaways. And the Runaways. Of course. Aw, we rate. Yeah. You were in my third issue. Yeah. Will you keep hiding them? So no, I didn't. That was the first one I showed to you guys. Oh yeah, just kidding. I even have an episode. I'm a, of I'm it a bad my, friend. I even have an episode. You, you don't pay attention to my work. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, Louise has chosen a bench for herself, and she'll kind of she'll kind of eyeball Alvin and just go, "Hey, Alvin." <gasps> oh, hey, what's going on? Uh. I just wanted to say thanks for uh, being so flexible with uh, the uh, espionage shenanigans and whatnot. Oh, nah, you don't gotta worry about nothing. It was, uh, I mean, it was sudden, but I, I get why we did what we did. Yeah? I feel, I feel like I might have flustered you a little bit unnecessarily. Oh, no, it, 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 oh, it, it, it's nothing. I just I've been a uh, it's been a damn long while since I did anything like that, so. Yeah, you mentioned. Kind of mm. kind of leans back on her bench or whatever it is and looks up at the ceiling. Yeah, me too. Just got the two under my belt. Oh, two! Oh, cool, you got another notch on your belt more than I do. Oh, two. How you, how you word it, dear. <laughs> <laughs> well, trust me, I don't, I haven't had a conversation like this in a good long while. Oh. I'll tell you your, mine if I tell if you tell me yours. Yeah, sure. You go first. Uh, no, no, no. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We're rock paper scissors. <laughs> Let's make more. All right, count Connor. Connor, how do we roll for this? I just roll, roll d six and whoever wins. <laughs> yeah. Okay. One d six. Go for it. One, two, three. Shoot. Ah. Oh, okay. I got it. Okay. So wait, I won. Do you go first? Yeah, you won. I go first. <laughs> so, uh, she she pulls out a scissors while you pull out, pull out a paper, and she's just like, snip, snip. Oh come on, paper's reliable. <laughs> Not be like really. Teflon or military grade fabric or no? All well right, then, I've right. got military grade shears or whatever. Just go on, man. All right, all right, all right. <sighs> Oh, you know what, where we are? All right, pulling real close. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this one. <coughs> All right. Because I, I, I don't know whether or not this would really get me in trouble on that one. All right. Um, <coughs> hey, you know how I said I was Jet's number two guy? Raising Back your in the day? Uh-huh. But I thought you said you and her weren't, you know. We weren't together, but yeah, I just... When you're frantic and covered in, and <laughs> you know, here and here and there, we never, 
appearances and it it, did very complicated anyway (laughs) breathe alvin breathe Uh, i'm I'm telling you yeah Mm, yeah that's a that's a (laughs) oh she'll skin you if you tell her that all right so how about you well wait a minute why would she skin you for just having sex she's trying to keep up such an image that she's unattainable or something Right, proud dog can't have any strings that might be pulled or threaded. <laughs> All right, that's nice. that's that's hers. That's her words, not mine. But you know, when <laughs> we're a lot younger, right? Anyway, <laughs> so. All right, Louise is like, "All right, I'll put you out of your misery." All right, all right, all right. All right. fair enough. All right. Uh, all right. If I'm honest, mm-hmm. technically it was three. First one, however was me as an awkward, barely adult woman with another barely barely adult, awkward guy. Can't even remember the poor kid's name. Suffice to say, a lot of awkward fumbling was happening. Then someone nearly walked in on us and we just fucking tore out of there and ran the fuck back out to our respective houses. So this was back when y'all were in the uh, vault? Is that what Yeah, uh, well, we were out of the vault by then. We'd spilled out into the... I don't... I I know that guy took off later on off on his own for his own adventures, but man, before for like at least a month we couldn't look each other in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, I, I can imagine. So first proper so the first proper one. Um his name was his name was Daryl. Nice guy. He's still there. He uh he's married now. He runs one of the shops in our area. Um and you know, just kind of curious and he was all right and i was all right with it and so we did and mm. i don't know it was a thing you know what i mean i guess i was kind of yeah. more out of it and i didn't get why it wasn't i mean i granted it was just a one-off thing and i quite i didn't quite figure out though why it wasn't more impactful anyway uh right, fast right. fast forward a couple of years and um i'm scat this is before me and barry and uh uh Phil hooked up proper. Though mm. I, this is one of the times I went out, I went out without berries because it was a pretty short little jaunt. Um, and I met another scavenger. Her name was Carol. And, oh, that's a pretty name now, isn't it? I guess. I and, like you know, that. we we kind of were scoping out the same place, and it was late mm-hmm. anyway. So we got to talking, made a fire, kind of hung out, and yeah. and I thought to myself, you know, if the guy didn't pan out. Is it maybe women? So mm-hmm. she seemed all right, and I wasn't. I don't know. Gave it a try, and you know, again, it was just a thing. And I, I mean, I, I spent, I spent a good long time wondering about that. I was like, there's. Keep in mind, my vault. Remember that the whole experiment was let's put a small amount of people in a way too in big a huge, place to see what happens. Area. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I'd say, if I could interject, like yeah, you never learned then. I thought you said that was one of my things. It was, but you don't know that. I don't? I feel like I've mentioned it before. Okay, fair enough. Whatever. Backtrack, backtrack. Suffice to say, our town's pretty populous, <laughs> and I would I would gather we have a pretty healthy look on relations in my town. Mm-hmm. And I just couldn't want... That's, honest to God, it actually really bugged me. I, I wondered what's wrong with me, you know? And <laughs> she, she kind of pauses for a second gets a little quieter, but she's not, like, upset or anything, but she's more introspective, and she's like, it was Barry, who, when I was trying to talk to him about it, finally just said, Louise, maybe it's not a guy-girl thing. Maybe it's just... sex isn't that important to you. And... Mm. Holy shit. Mm. I've never felt more like I finally understood something about myself than that moment. Of course, that'd be fucking Barry that made me realize it, but I don't know. I guess I think that someday I'll end up with someone who I can stand having in my space for more than five minutes, and that's the more... eternal journey in the wasteland, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's. I guess it's more important to me that it's not. Sex is an okay thing. Just doesn't matter to me. I want a person who makes the little things better. You know. Oh, yeah. No, for me, it's just like, I don't know, I guess it's like, uh, 
it, it's something I always get flustered about, but you know, I really only had the one dance partner on my dance card, so. Huh. And they are a fearsome kick fighter. So, uh. Oh, by the way, let me just go ahead and just... I imagine that while we're just dishing uh, back and forth, I'm just, like, working on your armor. So. <laughs> Apex <laughs> is scribbling in uncomfortably in the corner. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I guess that's me. I, I like everybody. I like it. I, I like it. I like it. I like everybody. I'm just... a couple of fries. <laughs> Well, it's more like, more like, it's like that ice, cr that ice cream. I don't want it every day, but every so often I do, and when I do, it's nice. Why wouldn't you want ice cream every day? It's great. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> <laughs> suddenly <laughs> looks over and sees egg effects, and she's like, oh. I, um, yeah. Well, it's kind of like coffee, or for me, so anything like, why did I use in arm reach. <laughs> Glass is like, sure, you want to make that analogy? Uh, well, maybe if you, maybe it's not like coffee, and I'll just wink and I'll just keep working on a fastener. Like, Louise has to remind herself that Apex is like a, is like a grown man, so she's like, all right, Apex, let, let me put it this way, because maybe the food analogy ain't that good. Uh, let's say there's a joke, right? A really good joke that everyone likes. Like and it's a real knee slapper. Yeah, and logically, I know that joke's good, but for some reason, it just doesn't really make me laugh like everyone else. But occasionally, or maybe in my future, someone will come along and say, hey, I really want to tell you this joke. And hopefully, if and if I like them enough, I'll say, you know what? I will hear, hear this joke from you. And depending on how they deliver that joke, I might really in that moment enjoy that joke every so often. Not all the time, but once in a while and that'd be really great uh, if that makes any sense <laughs> i never really got many jokes <laughs> yeah fair enough oh that's oh that's no problem at all i think there was a joke book back somewhere in riverside if i can find it again it's around this time that <laughs> Cynthia will rejoin yeah, I say. a lot of you. You'll just, Louise will just see, uh, uh, sorry, Cynthia will see Louise just playfully punching Alvin in the arm for that, for that phrase. It's like a joke book, really? Well, you gotta go ahead and learn before you earn, right? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Wince oh, hey, looks, looks at the playful nature between Louise and Alvin. Quince harder. You can hear the mechanical word. <laughs> Smirks. Oh, I'm just Howdy. fixing my armor. We're having a chat, too. And yeah, hey, what, are you, what are you, um, chatting about? Who? Hmm? What, oh, what are you just, chatting about? Oh, we were just chatting about, like, uh, old lovers and whatnot, because I was like all flustered and whatnot from the sudden espionage we had to go ahead and do and whatnot. Louise and quotation we just had to mark talk and whatnot. with her fingers. Louise quotation marks with her fingers is when Alvin says lovers. Cynthia is smiling so oh, hard. Eyes darting back and forth between Louise and uh, Alvin. Uh huh. They're uh, some of fascinating uh, topic yeah. of conversation. I suppose. <laughs> I, I mean, it's not. So, I mean, I guess I, it's not something I talk about any, every day. I normally just go ahead and talk about like schematics, drone drafting, what have y'all. Right. Well, I'm glad that you have a fun partner to discuss your espionage with. Oh yeah, no, we always go ahead and fight hand in hand. We've been in every damn near battle. You, me, her, Ava. Wait, Ooh. I'm a roll. I'm a roll something. I'm a roll something. Okay, yeah. Louise suddenly kind of narrows her eyes at Cynthia like she's suddenly starting to realize, like, wait a minute, are you... Cynthia smiles like the cat with the there? knives pointed at her. <laughs> <laughs> Louise is suddenly like, oh. Bless her heart, she actually blushes for a second. She's like, um, oh, yeah, I mean, just shooting the shit. Mm -hmm. When huh? Cynthia sees her blush, her eyes go pink, and she's like, <laughs> Um, well, I'm gonna go play some cards. You all get some 
rest or yeah, not? Yeah, no, sleep, sleep is, sleep is, whew, better than the sewer, tell you what. Yeah, yeah much no, warmer this, in here than yeah, the this sewers. Yeah, this would be totally fine. How about you, Dave? You holding up? Dave is <laughs> Dave is curled up with his face against the wall, uncomfortably pretending to sleep. <laughs> oh, oh man, he's just dead. Oh, he's just dead and gone, isn't he? Once, uh, once Cynthia sees that uh, he uh, is. Can I make a witch check to see if I notice that Dave is still awake? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> That is double sixes. Apex just says, he's not asleep. He's been uncomfortable since you began talking. His pulse went up. Uh, How did you... <laughs> Dude, it's you been began, slow. You, looks, you, began, <laughs> you began breathing harder. <laughs> Dave, slow couple of months for you? Why are you... He just oh, like I thought, he, I thought he takes off his zonk. That's why he, I went. He no. takes off his glasses, like cleans the fog off of them. <laughs> Look, oh uh, my. they're they're all focused on Dave, but from the side they hear, <laughs> "Leave him alone." All right, all right, all right. I'm I'll leave him be. Him. Not exactly a top priority for me. Oh, I get y'all. For none of us, really, if you think about yeah. it. Not really. I gotta go ahead and, you know, fix all sorts of things. So, there's a, there's a lot, there's a lot more, to, there's a lot more to go ahead and do. Speaking of which, I don't think your armor got dinged all or anything. You're you're doing good, right? Ain't no wears and tears on you. Um, Me? Yeah, you, you, Dave. Uh, no, I. Don't really wear armor, but um, yeah, I'm fine. All right, all right. Well, I just wouldn't mind sure everybody's a okay for go ahead and crack it down. Oh, well, I wouldn't mind a little, a little more of a tune up if you got it. Above game, I still have I have two more points I could stand a game back if that's possible. Oh, absolutely. You just go ahead. You just go ahead and take. You just go ahead and take a seat right there next to me, and I'll just go ahead and reach around behind and see what I can do to get off. What was yeah. that? She just no, you... yeah, Louise like sort of plops down next to him and sort of just like eye eyeballs as he's watching, looks up and sees Cynthia watching. Yeah, that's no trouble at all. We'll just go ahead and just dig this and that in there, see what we can find. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the can we fix it thing. Alrighty. <sighs> now keep in mind that you don't have access to a workshop here, at least not at the moment. Um, do you want me to do something different for, like, just a field repair? Maybe just go ahead and be like, oh, that fastener's kind of loose. Just, uh, let me take a look at what you got. Cool. Uh, we got, can we fix it in the past job? Let me just copy-paste these and I'll DM these to you. No, I'm looking at them right now. Oh, damn. He's Time so fast. Quick. He is. He's the quickest thing there is. One time, uh, one time when I visited him, we were walking down the street, right? He bit a bird out of the air. Like it just landed right in his beard. What? <laughs> yep, he just, he just, there was a bird. It was buzzing around us. He just and leapt up, wasn't. caught it with his beard. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah, I said, oh, Ozzy. <laughs> and then. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, absolutely. Like I yep. said, he's that the is, best thing alive. That is precisely how it went down. He, is... he, he looked at me and said, Sonic the Hedgehog's next. And I was like, <laughs> what? And he's like, what? And we just kept walking. I don't Roll patch it. job. Huh. Roll pa <laughs> patch job. That's what it is. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. <gasps> da 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 da. da, Ooh, da smarts. Da, 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 da. Holy smokes. Holy smarts. <sighs> Holy smarts. Eleven. You get two armor. Yep. Jeez. Two armor is restored. There y'all are. I wouldn't exactly go wrestling Yao Gua, but, you, but uh, that looks a lot better than it was. Speaking of which, let me see if I can add some of this scrap to my own harness. Can I roll past job for me too? Try to get some armor back. Sure. Uh, wait, what did I get back from that, Connor? You. Uh, two armor. Job, you got back two yes, armor. I am back to full. My lovely Noits. armor. Oh, <gasps> Shiva. 
Also 11. Five. Right, another two. two. Armor. Dang. Two more armor, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, let's go. As you repair your armor, swap some jokes. Uh, get eyeballed by Cynthia. <laughs> you have any and idea why she keeps looking at us with the pink eyes? Hey, go about your business. I got something on my face. I, I thought maybe I just. You go about your business until sleep takes most of you. And eventually the dawn rises and the silhouette of the arch looms in front of you. And as you wake to greet the new day, that's where we're going to end the session for this week. Hot damn! Mom. Goodbye, right. Austin. Bye, Bye, Austin. Man, I, Bye, Austin. Man, I love this series. This series is great. Goodbye, Austin. Uh, we're... Uh, this is 30, 37. 37. <laughs> we're 37? Yeah, we're 37. 37. Wild, right? 37 is right wild, brother. Where is my old file? There we go. Well, hey there, chat. Oh, hi. Well, hi there. <laughs> didn't see you there. Oh, didn't Hello? see you there. How you doing? What's going on? I, I'm not to the chat yet. I get bit you. <laughs> Caleb, why do I think you and me just both have like the 50 sitcom look going on? Just like I did. Oh, see. absolutely. <laughs> uh, All right. Uh... Poor Dave, he's become Mr. Dalliard, and we just... It's so, it's so funny, because, like, I just... It's like something out of an anime. Like, he's just he swished up standing to against be the sad. Wall. Oh, what? I, I don't watch it enough to remember, but remember, uh, anybody else watch Italia? Oh, A God. long time ago, yes. What is that country... What is the country in the show that everyone just fucking forgets is there, and he's always in the background, just, like, see through like a ghost, and he's like, someday they'll remember I'm here. Oh. I think it's Lithuania. No. <laughs> Canada? Canada. There it is. It was Canada. I don't know. Didn't watch the show now. I I I remember. <laughs> Man, the things. All right. All the things. All the places I'll see. Well, that certainly was an interesting episode of Fallout Gateway, wasn't it? There, ladies and gentlemen. Is you very can find them here weekly. Character uh, based. A thousand apparently. years gateway. A thousand oh. years gateway. It was Canada. Apparently it's weekly. Uh. Crazy. This train ain't stopping. Is this train All stopping? I, it's not stopping. I, no. I don't see it stopping. All I know is that Hitalia didn't have a Mexico, and that made me sad. Oh. It didn't, did it? Gorsh. <laughs> Gorsh. So Gorsh indeed. Age. Gorsh. What's going on here? We're gonna, All right. we're gonna get 40 when I'm in England, but I'll still be here. I'll still be here to hopefully do the stream. I mean, in England. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, for now, let's go ahead and uh, go around the horn. Uh, Caitlin, uh, where can people mm -hmm. find you and what are you up to? Sorry, post-session brain deflation. Yep, I understand. Uh, <sighs> hi. Hey, hello. My name is Caitlin Elizabeth. You can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog here on Twitch. It is twitch.tv slash Boobs McBalrog with zeros instead of O's. Twitch doesn't really like boobs. Um, I, I don't have anything in particular to talk about today. Um, but keep an eye out on my socials on Monday for a big, cool announcement for a thing that's coming up also this week. That's it for me. All right. Rabbit, oh, cool. where can people find you and what are you up to? Hey, thank you. Hi, I'm Rabbit. I'm a comedian and a writer. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter. Hey, Mr. Rabbit. Uh, on my show, I'm a variety guy, but one of my favorite games to play is RuneScape. I found that about 10 months ago, and I play old school RuneScape, and I play RuneScape RuneScape. Uh, and uh, I also play horror games on Thursdays. I've been playing horror games with Sarah. Uh, we've been playing, we've, uh, 
it's so great to find somebody who doesn't go ah! every time there's something horrible. What? We do every so great. often, but otherwise no. I'm just oh, like... Oh we, oh, we do, but it's fun. It's like go through a roller coaster. But we Steven, don't you should coaster. join us. <gasps> I'm, I will you be the person that yells coaster. every two seconds. It'll add a new dynamic. Uh -huh. uh, oh my... <laughs> you're right. Oh, we should play more <laughs> again for her sake. Just so it gets a little measurement. But anyway, we play horror games. We play <laughs> retro games. We play RPGs. We play all kinds of things. And if just... Being able, I, I've been told many times I have a really funny, fun range, and uh, I'm also really good to listen to while people do work and whatnot. So if you want somebody to go ahead and have a, have like a chill, casual, yet quirky and madcap experience, just come on down. Come on down to me. Come on down to Rabbit Town. Twitch.tv slash Hey Mr. Rabbit. Give me your spooks. Give me your RPGs. Give me your roomsticks. Give me your right. Pac-Man. Give me your Space Invaders. As a tree. Alrighty. That's cool. Lanny Vitor, we're gonna find you and what are you up to? I'm me all over the internet, Lanny Vitor. Right now it's twitch.tv slash Lanny Vitor. Uh, my AC is back up and running, so I'm gonna try to stream a bit more now that I can sit in this room comfortably. Uh, also, check out youtube.com slash four star bento because Kaiser and I have started up a uh, weekly series where we're going to go back and watch through all of Dragon Ball Z Abridged. Episode 1 went up today. So uh, check it out as we cringe and try not to die looking back on things that we uh, we have brought into this world. I can only imagine how that must it, be. There, it, look, I brought out I brought out extra strength and acids for the first step for the first season because yeah. <laughs> I oh, would wow. give myself a fucking ulcer looking back on how many things oh, I would have changed. I, I, felt, <laughs> I, felt, I felt the same way a couple months ago when I was cleaning. I found an old sketchbook from college. <sighs> but it's a good time. Come on in, mm -hmm. have some fun. And on Mondays, if you're not all role played out, uh, now that, again, I'm able to sit here comfortably, we'll be going back to a little campaign I like to call the Ties That Bind, where uh, Connor, Caitlin... You join me alongside uh, Shadow Dancer Bob and Takahata101 as uh, you're dealing with demons. There's demons out there. You don't want them out there. Maybe you do. I don't know. I'm not. Like, I simply put them. <laughs> I'm not I your simply dad. populate Good the love. world. I <laughs> simply populate the world. You decide what you don't want in it. Thank you, Minecraft That'll be that. server name, Lanny. There you go. We we don't we don't condone violence against demons, but we do, however, find it hilarious. Oh, it is. Oh, I I I, I, made, I, I laugh made like the end that episode already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Sarah, where can they find you, and what are you up to? I'm on Twitter at Sarah with an ATM with an E. Willia. I mean, I've shilled everything. I don't know. And me a rabbit with plant Thursdays have been fun. Yay! Oh, fun, funny, fun, spooky times on Thursdays. Rabbit explains how he comes up with jokes, and I'm just like, what? It's true. It, it's like, um, I work off a lot of, like, improv, like, in the moment. Like, it's like Mad Libs. Like, pick a vowel, pick a, pick a verb, unmake somebody a vicious mockery. Like, <laughs> well... I mean, I told you, I, I sucked at Mistress Mockery as Gibby. But, uh, yeah, that's me. Maybe next weekend there might be something to talk about. I don't know. It depends. Ah, I'm tired. Me too. It's been a fun night. It has been a big, ooh, Mr. Rabbit's big day. That's what I've been having. All right. And they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Gonna be streaming some more, uh, some more Blood Omen Two tomorrow. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun. Nearly through the first, uh, nearly through the first chapter, uh, I guess you could say of Blood Omen Two. There are about four. Uh, so yes. God, I haven't played Blood Omen Two in forever. Did it? Okay. Did it age well? No. It didn't well, start good. well, Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I just like I like the sincerity and there's like no. No. No, it didn't. But I still Not like it. Not at all. Look, is look, is the vac is the vacuum blood suck still fun? It is still fun, yes. <laughs> See, that's all I care about. <laughs> 
telekinesis is fun when you're a vampire. You can just telesuck the blood out of people. But but what about but what <laughs> what about implosion? It sounds oh. like it was it was fun the way that the first couple of minutes of Blood Rain were fun. Unfortunately, we lost all of the funny spells in Blood Omen One. I, right. I, I, I think Blood Omen was more fun than Blood Rain, personally. I liked Blood Rain before they all turned into monsters. Like just running around sucking the blood out of Nazis was hilarious and fun, and they just See, ran. If the like, entire like, game was just that, it would have been great. Yeah, oh, and you yeah. cut off their legs, and then they try to hop on one leg, and you're just like, "You're funny. I'm gonna kill you now." Ha! <laughs> 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 Teeter tot. <laughs> Thank you for funny. Me. Now you die. Now you die. Yes. <laughs> and I'd like to thank our sponsor for this evening's escapades, Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice. <laughs> die Hard Dice! Yep. It's your one stop shop for dice and dice accessories. If you head on over to dieharddice.com. Uh, use the code unexpectables exclamation point. You can save 10% on your order so we can keep making shows like this for you. <laughs> Indeed. And with that out of the way, we got some bits and subs we need to take care of. Uh, okay. Okay. Notably from. Uh, I make things up. Thank you for the 27 months, 27 beautiful months. Thank you, and let's fucking go. Z on the Blue Dragon, thank you for the 26 months of Prime subage. Zenlita, thank you for the 100 bits. Just when you thought that Barry wasn't any more of an asshole, it turns out he looks like a, he looks like a crypto, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! No, I was I, I was thinking of when you said he looks like Ben Shapiro. I was just like, let's say, let's take him argument. Oh, no, 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 I hate him. I hate it. <laughs> I hear that voice and I just want to punch it. <laughs> it's perfect for Perry. <laughs> Indeed. Mr. Canadian Donut, thank you for the raid with a party of nine. Stellar Coyote, thank you for the 50 bits. Uh, Dave, hello? Anybody? I'm cold here and there are wolves after me. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Be beware the greater Missourian. No. Beware the deep Missourian rad wolf. Oh, God. <laughs> Gulp. Uh, reasonable Rex, thank you for the 26 months. Connor, have you tried Rumbleverse yet? It's a wrestling battle royale game. Well, color my ass intrigued. Damn. Damn. Uh, it's the color now. Flying T-Bar C, thank you for the raid with Party of Two. Fables and Flumps, thank you for the raid with Party of Six. Protoss103, think of the five bits. Forgot about the stream. We'll have to catch the VOD later. Hope you get kills, Apex. We'll get there. Kane time. Thank you for the 500 bits. Last week, I was confused about a place called Westport being on the East Coast. So I looked up Westport, Louisiana and found a small village with like 12 houses. This makes so much more sense. <laughs> now nah, you're looking for Westport Plaza. Kane time. Thank you for the 500 bits. Patrol rounds are very interesting. I met a raccoon family. The babies were adorable. I showed them how to make spears, like the ones raccoon people use in Fallout. The what people? Oh, well, you know, raccoon people. Yeah, it checks out. That checks out. That's what I thought you said. <laughs> Mad Monk Monk, you think you for the 300 bits. Thanks for making my night shift more tolerable. You are all amazing. No. Yeah. Thank you for making us a part of your night shift. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And with that, we'll release you into the ether, folks. Uh, let's go ahead and see if who we can raid. Absolutely. Who we gonna raid today? We got uh. Mark Allen Jr. who's playing Digimon Survive right, right now. Oh, Digimon Hello. be sad. Oh, yeah. He Hi. was my gluttony in the uh, the the new Full Metal Alchemist English dub for the live action came out. Somebody forgot to show I, 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 I saw. Well, no, i Lust isn't in this one. I, I, I saw the shot for that. Scar looks way too pretty. He needed to be more old and grizzled. Well, 
you know. That, it has nothing to do with the dub cast. I'm simply saying that the Japanese miscast that. I see. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> and that's all we'll know. I don't think I'm in danger of losing work from them. <laughs> Every time. Yes, we'll find out. Every time Look, I I've, I've insulted enough Japanese companies, yet I still get anime work, so. Oh. Man, that's fun. Uh, All right. No, no, I keep thinking of Digimon Survive, and I'm just like, hi, I, I'm crippling depression, Agamon. <laughs> Welcome to Digimon Survive. Die. If you die in your sleep, I'll eat your face so you don't go to waste. Uh, thanks. Bye, everybody. Agumon. That's a problem. Bye. 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 Bye.